Okay. My audio is working. Um, I just uh, said working on it. Okay, what about now? What about now? Can y'all hear us now, everybody? Let us know in the chat. Bertie Blake says oh, typical left the stream starting off with technical Taylor. issues. Can you hear oh, other people for- like, that aren't me? Well, we're trying to talk. We hear Kaylin. We hear everybody. We hear Kaylin. We hear Kaylin is what I'm reading. <laughs> I hear Kaylin and the rest. Okay. We have names. Okay. We're not the rest. <laughs> Kaylin and the rest is pretty hateful. <laughs> and the rest. It's like fucking <laughs> Gilligan Island over here. I, I can't believe they guessed our band name right off the bat. <laughs> <laughs> Kaylin and the rest? That's... Kaylin, Mandy, and the rest. <laughs> it's like, it's... The more hateful version of Josie and the Pussycats. I love that. <laughs> if Josie was honest about how she felt about the rest of her badmates, that's <laughs> that's absolutely Josie and the rest. <laughs> Hello to everybody in the chat. Hello to oh, we got a Zilla, we got a Ben, uh, we got a Harker, the storyteller, we got a sidekick, we got a Silver Sam, we got all the people. Hello, everybody. Thank you for vamping, Mandy. You're so good at this. Nope. Thank you. I, I have the thing on my phone, so I can actually, like, in case we get asked any important questions, I guess. Uh. Sorry, Nightwing PhD says, k k k Kaylin and the rest. <laughs> I can That'd only, like, barely read the chat. Hold on, I need to make this bigger. There we go. And yes, Luke from Las Vegas, it is eyes worm time. <laughs> it is. Um, speaking of eyes worm, uh, my friend mm-hmm. Roslyn crocheted me this worm and yes. this eye, who I'm like super fucking excited about. Just saying. Oh, yeah. It's so cute. Oh! Adorable. Absolutely it. adorable. Um, okay, do we all, we're good? We're all, we're all seeable, hearable? I think so. I think, I think we're good. I think we're good. Are we all loud uh, Everybody enough? says that they're adorable. Everybody says that the worms in the eyes are adorable. So yep. give it up for Roslyn. Yeah. Hell yeah, Roslyn. Um, okay. Um, should we introduce ourselves? Should we say what we're doing here? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's probably a good idea. Yeah, uh, Hoots, did you want to do that? <laughs> yeah, Hoots, <laughs> since you volunteered. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to the very first, in case you couldn't tell, live stream <laughs> of Respect the Dead, the podcast where we don't. And today we've got special guest John the Duncan. Hello, John. Say hi. Hello. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> hi. <laughs> Uh, uh, to tell us about um, our very special corpse for today, but I'll let you introduce her. Um, I'll introduce myself. I'm Hoots. I'm Kaylin. I'm Mandy. Mandy. Damn it. (laughs) (laughs) Every time we go to do this while we're recording, it's like such a like game of chicken. We're like staring each other (laughs) down. Who's going to go next? (laughs) Who's going to fucking go next? (laughs) (laughs) Um, and, and by the way, uh, I know, John, you just celebrated, what was it, 25,000 subscribers on YouTube? Congratulations. Nice. Everyone, shout Thanks. out in the shout chat. Out. Woo. Stuff. Yeah. Hell yeah. We're, we're Hell fucking yeah. scrambling up there. <laughs> yeah, you are. Good job. <laughs> awesome. Um, so, so, John, do you want to tell us a little bit about what... what so normally how this show goes, if if you don't know, and I don't know why you wouldn't, is <laughs> one of us uh, of amongst me, Kaylin and Mandy, uh, tells the other two a story about um, usually someone awful uh, who is mm. now dead. Uh, but for our special live stream, uh, John is telling the three of us a story. Um, do you want to tell us a little bit about that, John? I mean, I guess so. I prepared nothing. <laughs> <laughs> But we can, I can fucking rant about Margaret Thatcher. Just give me a wee Do second. It. Like, yeah! <laughs> I just rant. It's a live stream. Who cares how it works? Yeah. He's oh, like, man. hang on, let me let me just pull up a Wikipedia article real <laughs> quick. <laughs> that, I mean, that is very Respect the Dead. Let me, let me t- take a swig and we'll begin. <laughs> Perfect. That, that's yeah. Respect Cheers, the everybody. Dead. Cheers. If you have a beverage, drink it. Have a beverage. I'm getting turned. 
at 1 13 on a monday morning i mean it's on brand <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is around when we typically start recording an episode of Respect the Dead for us, like around this time. So, mm-hmm. I mean, it's nine p.m. for me. I've had there. a, I've been for a swim. I've done a day's work. Ooh. I'm fucking. I'm. I'm Ooh. easy. Yeah, you've had a whole day. Yeah, I just woke up. <laughs> um, uh, it's four way, p.m. here. I've been up for saying, like eleven uh, hours. Okay. I think I'm okay. I was just saying, saying there's a lot of people in the chat saying like, congratulations, John, congrats. Uh, lots of high fives and, and all that stuff in the chat for John. That's, that's very, that's very lovely. And if I don't, if I don't say thank you, it's just because uh, I don't respect you. Yeah. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> oh, I love it. This is exactly right. the energy we need for this. It is. It's yeah. <laughs> truly, truly. <laughs> John, you fit right in. <laughs> oh, shit. So Zilla just suggested that we make John sing the song today. <laughs> I don't know John. The assumption that John knows our fucking theme song. <laughs> <laughs> is like, so funny. <laughs> People don't care that much about us. <laughs> I don't know your theme song. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Uh, if you download the, um, the 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 audio version of this uh, on Wednesday, it will come with the th- theme song slotted in for you'll all get, you. You'll get your theme song. Fucking you theme song sickos. <laughs> the people that were like, <laughs> weird um, where did you get this song? And it's like, it's obviously <laughs> something we made. Uh, <laughs> We might as well like have our names in it. Like it was there's about was it, is it the one that's on the trailer for the Yeah. For the, right. Yeah. Yeah. It literally says yeah. it's yeah. time yeah. to respect yeah. the dead. Why would that be a song? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's me playing like literally the four chords of ukulele that I know. <laughs> <laughs> like singing into my iPhone. <laughs> It's so cute, though. It's such a little bop. It is. I'm I love the theme it. song. Me too. Every time we um, record an episode, we usually play it so we can listen to it, and then we'll just sit here and bop before some we get of to us. the episode. Some of us well, do some, that. Some of us. Sometimes <laughs> Caitlin can't hear it, and then Hoots and I make fun of them, but, you know, <laughs> lovingly. <laughs> I mean, it's... I, I, Not I, lovingly. I have been cyberbullied. <laughs> I will come out today and tell my story. About being a brave survivor of cyberbullying by these two witches. <laughs> Hi guys, Discord's I am basically... in the grind. Hi. <laughs> I I accept my cyberbully uh, title. <laughs> I am basically the Chrissy Teigen of podcasting. <laughs> like, I am a monster, and I should be canceled. She's giving Leah Michelle, but you can read. <laughs> <laughs> Not me shitting in Kaylin's wig. <laughs> I have not heard this story, but I believe you already. Oh, um, oh. I'll look it up after. Oh, honey. We don't need to make that yeah. part of the episode. Uh, <laughs> Evermore in the chat says, respect the chat, the podcast where John doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> just just people who like who like like me coming on and telling telling you that I don't respect you. It's like a, a bottoms chat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Everyone in the chat is literally. <laughs> Everyone's got a got a humiliation kink in our yeah. who listens to our podcast, basically. I mean, yeah, that's fair. You know, I've collected twenty five thousand subs, so we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> How many more? Hey. Can you get? <laughs> <sighs> I guess All we right. can start talking about Margaret Thatcher. Eh? Yeah, let's start talking. <laughs> Tell us about Margaret. Let's let's dive the fuck in. I'm halfway through my drink already. Yeah. Right. Well, I mean, I guess, I guess, sort of the the main bullet points of her is that in in 1979 she was elected prime minister of of the of the UK, first female prime minister, a real a real girl boss uh, in in the true sense of the word. And uh, we stand, we stand a girl boss. I mean, we have to. We're feminists. Yeah. yeah and, <laughs> That's that's why this that's why we're going to respect her for however long this takes. Um, <laughs> and upon that election, instigated, uh, I don't know, forty years of hell. Um, 
I mean, it's good because she's just trying to bring us slowly down to the place where she now resides. Um, Aww. She's making us feel at home. Yeah. Like, make yourselves um, comfortable if you need, like, a pitchfork or you want to grab a soul to torture. Yeah. Like, help yourself. More women demons. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, the, the first sort of few years of her prime ministership were dogged with um, her being not very effective, uh, not getting her... Um, at that time, the word neoliberal wasn't really used. It was kind of monetarist uh, uh, policy platform through Parliament uh, until there was, on the first instance, the Falkland War, in which she committed a series of war crimes, including the sinking of the Belgrano, in which she ordered a um, British naval ship to sink a retreating uh, Argentinian vessel, murdering thousands of uh, Argentinian young Argentinian men who were just retreating uh, and mm. is absolutely a war crime uh, and uh, after that her popularity surged and it's hard, as with these things you don't want to say it's because of that because it could have been a number of things but that certainly helped her popularity and after that popularity she surged she got popularity. more popular <laughs> for shooting them in the back <laughs> Not, not, not directly for the war crime, but for the war itself. It uh, was a huge rallying point for for Thatcher's popularity. Um, after which, Christ. yeah, <laughs> we don't get many like actual mass murderers on here. It's usually like somebody threw birds at someone or something. So I'm like, <laughs> I love that I don't have to like to like qualify why I hate her. Like she's already yeah. a monster. This is perfect. Yeah. Well, well, it's nice because. She, she once said that her greatest political accomplishment was Tony Blair. And he, of course, also went on to uh, start a war and murder up to a million Iraqis. So he really excelled. He, he, he took her legacy and, and really fucking pushed it beyond. He, uh, he said, hold my beer. I can, I can do this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. Michael Sheen did not cover that in Frost <laughs> Nixon. Like... <laughs> Yeah, we can't we we can't talk about Tony Blair too much because he's not dead; he's undead, and is of course Nosferatu. Um, if anyone's seen any recent pictures of him, um, oh no! <laughs> but uh, now, uh, sorry, so post uh, post the Falkland War, she really started ramping up her neoliberal uh, reform agenda, which uh, in the first instance included the utter destruction of the miners union the the uh, national union of miners in the uk and uh, went into what could reasonably be, be described as open war against the miners she formed the first uh uk nationwide police force directly to send to picket lines and arrest and beat up miners uh, that was the, impl the implementation of something called the Ridley Report, which was a report which had been made by Tories while they were still in opposition before Thatcher's regime, which uh, said to do a neoliberal re uh, sort of revolution in the UK, you needed to pick a union to destroy, to destroy worker power. Uh, the union in question should be the miners because they hold such industrial power, they're radical, they have connections to the Soviet Union, the Soviet Union gives them lots of aid uh, and money. Um, so to do that, we should stockpile uh, loads of uh, loads of coal so that we can get through any problems if they start to try and strike. So we, they're both fine. We should um, we should pretend that there is uh, unprofitability within the mines, uh, which there simply wasn't. Uh, at, at at no time was British Union uh, British mining uh, at that time unprofitable. All the mines that were there was like one or two mines that were unprofitable, but on the large scale, they were, they were profitable. And we should use uh, the courts and journalists and the police to create a whole uh, culture of fear around the miners, to arrest as many as they can, get them in jail as much as, can, as, much as they can. And that's what they did. They went to picket lines, they arrested folk, they had... Thatcher and Thatcher's team lean on judges, lean on journalists to uh, to convict miners. Many of the miners got off, uh, luckily, because 
there was no reason they should be arrested. There was no precedent in law for them being arrested. They were just arrested. Uh, mm. But the culture of fear that was produced through that obviously has an impact on uh, going out to strike and uh, and surviving the strike. She re she, she got rid of a lot of welfare policies that allowed striking miners and the, the families of striking miners to survive through strikes, so that people would go hungry and starve during strikes, and that a whole lot of problems along that would would occur. And those those re welfare changes have become embedded throughout the the entire neoliberal age and have gotten worse steadily uh, throughout that age yeah. um there uh oh god there's so so much that margaret thatcher did that's so terrible <laughs> little, as, as americans uh, sorry oh, i was just gonna say someone in the chat mentioned uh, i think it was beethoven junkie that everyone should watch the movie pride uh, which kayla and i have seen we watched yeah. it together um I don't know, a few months ago. Uh, and that kind of explains sort of the um, the the strike that happened in which uh, like the queer organization organizers kind of joined up with the the striking miners um, to support them. And it's 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 a cute little movie. It's it's mostly very wholesome. Um, and that's I, I do second that if you want to know more about what was happening, that's um, an interesting sort of little focus within that history. Just so everyone knows. Yeah, Pride's a good movie. Uh, mm -hmm. And on, on, I guess, on uh, LGBT rights, one of Thatcher's major legacies was the introduction of uh, Section 20, or was it, let's call it 28, Section 28? 28. Yeah. yeah. Which was the, uh, which um, didn't, it didn't, in its wording, didn't formally, like, say what was, what was, it said it banned the promotion of gay, uh, of, of being gay in schools. So teachers couldn't mm -hmm. talk about that. And this was uh, something that existed in the UK until 2003, uh, when, it, when it was repealed. So up until 2003, Section 28 existed uh, as a legacy of Thatcher. And people like Ian McKellen had been campaigning against it for decades at that point. Uh, and anyone who grew up in UK schooling around, around that time w would not have been allowed to have teachers talk about being gay in school. Uh, and any sort of, there, there's like lawyers might say, because lawyers are lawyers, oh, there were ways, yeah, they weren't not allowed to talk about it, they just weren't allowed to promote it. But of course, <laughs> the sort of like discursive threat of uh, of, yeah. of Section 20 really scared a lot also, of teachers. Also, what, what is promoting? What is promoting? What is considered? Not saying that it's going to lead you to like dying of AIDS in a gutter is pretty much promotion. Um, yeah. If you like, if you actually look back at the, because I, I did a Yester Queer episode when that was the thing I did um, on Section 28. And like, it was basically anything that didn't, like, you could talk about homosexuality, but you had to talk about how it was going to ruin your fucking life. Mm -hmm. um, so like anything that wasn't that harsh was promoting, which like. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. I mean, and look at what some of the modern equivalents that we have of of laws like that, because now in like Florida obviously passed the, the the quote, don't say gay bill. And it's the same idea of like, well, it's OK if you are. You just like, quote, can't I, I can't remember the exact wording of the law, but it has something to do with like, you know, you can't um, push it onto like young, innocent children or whatever. And it's the same idea of like, well, unless you're talking about it in a very specific context, that means do not talk about it at all. Do not talk about the fact that if you are a queer person, don't talk about the fact that you have a, a same a same sex spouse. Don't talk about, if you're trans, definitely don't talk about that because that's promoting people to transition. We can't have that. Like it's it's the same kind of bullshit that she yeah. she's, not to say that she's the like first person to think that shit up obviously, but she certainly has helped to inspire other people uh, and has is part of that legacy. Yeah. Which was also I like pretty ridiculous because nowadays during the like whole groomer panic resurgence, people are saying, if you just like yeah. don't tell children about queer and trans shit, they just won't be queer and trans. And it's like, um, I had to look up homosexual in an encyclopedia in my parents' basement. <laughs> like mm -hmm. nobody was promoting it to me. I just happened to be a slur. There, there was like no talk about queerness in my school at all. I, I, the, the closest thing we had to that was the occasional whisper of like, oh, so-and-so is gay, which mostly was a lot of the uh, the rumors were a lot, a lot of us theater kids, which you know, 
surprise, it turned out to be true for a lot of us. Um, but, but like, there was no talk about it. There was not part of sex education in any way. There was no significant discussion about it. Like once in a great while, maybe it would kind of come up, but not really. And I mean, I didn't really get a, a significant queer education until college, literally. So yeah, this stuff is ridiculous. Yeah. And I like the, beyond just uh, section 28, the sort of the theme of section 20 uh, sort of reemerges with things like prevent the prevent duty in the uk which is not directly linked and maybe not directly thatcherite but it's like uh, it's it's an anti-extremism um, mm. uh, uh, home office program in the school specifically targeted at, at muslim uh, muslim students and teachers uh, to to de-radicalize them um and to to refer them to the police and and, that, and it has like the wording of it is in that very similar sort of like it's not technically discriminating against uh muslim folk but you know it is and uh yeah, it, it, it the creates a whole yeah yeah, yeah. like um, in quebec where they're like we're not discriminating against muslim people but also you can't wear any head coverings and it's like okay mm. well that doesn't mm. it's not really affecting anybody else but all right yeah well, if so, I have so, to look at it, it affects yeah. my eyeballs, obviously. <laughs> it's like that. I, I forget who it was. Um, I think it was. Um, I can't remember, but you know, that like forced busing quote that that appears in like everything all the time about the guy who's like, you're like N word, N word, N word. But then you start oh, uh, yeah. getting into more things like forced busing and suddenly um, you're not like using explicitly racist language or whatever yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. 100% yeah. What you're talking and, about and the result is still that you is is that like black people are hurt more um yeah it's it's that kind of thing mm. where it's it's still very pointed yeah um so so the sort of with so so the sort of story of Thatcher is like bad it's not good uh Amongst the war crimes and the destruction of organised labour in the UK, he set off the neoliberal turn under which we're still suffering. Um, she, she provided asylum to uh, Pinochet, General Pinochet. Uh, oh, cool. Love that for the yeah. UK. Uh, called Nelson Mandela a, quote, grubby little terrorist. Um, I remember that quote. Uh, <laughs> Um, what? you know, among amongst all of all of the 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 rest, of the terrible terrible shit she'd done, and I think in 1990 was when uh, she finally got forced out of out of office by the den of vipers that is the Conservative Party, and uh, upon at, at which time she was she was in tears and everyone was like, oh maybe maybe she is actually a human, which is a trick because she's not. Uh, and was replaced by John Major, <laughs> only to die of a stroke in 2013, I believe, um, inspiring totally. the yeah the most the most iconic uh, clip that exists on the internet of the small Scottish lady in Glasgow being asked what she thought of Thatcher having a yes. state funeral, <laughs> where she goes, "Can can you care less?" <laughs> <laughs> Put garlic in her neck and a steak through her heart to stop her coming back. I love her. What an icon. What an absolute fucking icon. Serving 100%. Yeah. She <laughs> waited her entire life for that moment and she did not let us down. <laughs> she was yeah. ready. She'd been practicing. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, Thatcher's arms dealing racist fucking son is still alive. So... Their legacy lives oh, on. I believe, I believe. I might be wrong, so this might be something worth checking up. I believe he funneled arms to South Africa during the boy during apartheid. Not, not to the side that you would want. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. But perhaps to the side you'd expect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and not the side ones I respect. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm so yes. glad people can um, see Hoots' delivery on these things. Um, because every time she comes in with a banger, you can see it on her face. Like, she's like, oh, no, I got it this time. Let me just slide the fuck in with this. I love it. Yeah. I'm so glad people can finally Hold the fucking experience. phone. <laughs> and you can also see um, um, the way that Kaylin and I always have the same, like, <gasps> <laughs> covering our faces whenever something is shocking. Like the Nelson Mandela thing, like. Jesus. It's so true. Both of you are so shocked by everything. <laughs> we are. <laughs> it's like we're babies. <laughs> Existing in the world for the first time. It's like, like I we have object <laughs> permanence, but for like hate. <laughs> we were just like, oh, wait, like this person's actually a piece of shit? Like, what are we doing here? This is our entire podcast. <laughs> I held myself back from being a very bad word there that might have been bad for getting you banned on YouTube, but I will, I will try and hold myself back there. Um, <laughs> someone in, someone in chat has just banned. mentioned... <laughs> someone in <laughs> chat has mentioned, yeah, her nickname was uh, for a while was Thatcher the Milk Snatcher because she got rid of the... Um, in schools, there was a free milk program for kids to, to uh, promote, like, healthy development, and she cut it and got rid of it. She was like, fuck them kids. <laughs> <laughs> no, literally, that's like, I'm sorry. That is something that you do when you're like, my brand is being evil, uh, so yeah. I got it. Like, I got to do something, like... Vegan icon. Margaret Thatcher, <laughs> vegan icon. Like just walking, <laughs> walking through that no. cafeteria, oh, like slapping the milk boxes out of their hands. And be like, no, no milk for you, orphan. She was definitely not a vegan icon because before she went into politics, she was a chemist who worked on the team that invented Mr. Whippy ice cream. You know the ice cream machines that do the uh, do very the spiral? quick. Spiral. Like, yeah, the spiral. She was part of like or a part of the company and team that made that. So she made she was involved in making ice cream, uh, and uh, you know she could have stayed there and, and <laughs> been a perfectly reasonable addition to the world, but instead she was like, "I've I've injected a little joy. Now let's take it all back and worse." Uh, she needed that milk for her ice cream, and those stupid fucking babies were drinking. <laughs> She was like, "I hope you're both." I'm right. sorry. No, she was just entering her witch era. Come on. Oh well, now it's okay. Uh, sparkle like, emojis next to it. Witch era. Uh, it's fine. So, jo you were you were talking about um, her her beefing with the miners' unions, which I think was like part of a um, a larger movement um, to dissolve and uh and uh erode trust in unions in general and like in the u.s our version of that is reagan it, like reagan yeah. and thatcher are very tied can can you talk to like i don't know like yeah. that a little bit more because i feel like margaret thatcher and ronald reagan like that whole era that then led to like um tony blair and bill clinton like um we're, we're still feeling like the negative effect like there's a reason why I'm 33 years old and still live in a studio apartment and it's these motherfuckers' <laughs> faults. Yeah, I mean, uh, like, as uh, Thatcher went to war with the, uh, with, with the mining union, Reagan did the same for the airline unions. Uh, and in the case of Reagan, uh, he did very similar, very, very similar stuff. So, like, the, the idea that the airline union were uh, were were like a, a, a cabal stopping the full proper functioning of the market of, of airlines. A deep state. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and and that they were unprofitable and holding things back from innovation and and holding costs back. And I I, I know I know the specific argument because I've heard fucking Basti repeat it before. Uh, I'm not gonna not gonna go on a rant about how annoying I find that man, but <laughs> but. Do it, do it. Yeah, if you're gonna <laughs> rant about how you, how much you hate okay. someone, this is the exact place for it. <laughs> this is the venue. You know, if, if 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 you're gonna be a fucking neoliberal oil company shell, why do you have to dress like that, like in a fucking pinstripe suit and a quaff? Are you a cartoon? <laughs> what? I, I, like, what? Can you walk through walls and leave a shape of you? <laughs> <laughs> fucking Looney Tunes ass motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes. sorry. Who is it? What is this person's name? I need to see them now. Pinstripe suit. Bastier or ba Bastier, I think is how, is this this Twitch profile of the person. Anyway, so <laughs> I've, I've I've seen seen him on a, on 
Twitch before saying like, oh, Reagan's war with, with the airline unions actually worked because prices for consumers did go down um, for, for airlines. Uh, and what that misses is that, yep, uh, yep. <laughs> just just for, for all of our viewers, because they don't know how to add another screen, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is a little bow tie? Like, it is fucking bow tie. What I'm a like... fucking nerd. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, love the yeah. idea of us calling people nerds. Like <laughs> <laughs> the bullying coming from three people who make video essays is like four now. Like <laughs> calling people nerds, I love it. We're I mean, nerds, to be fair, to be fair, we have little rats that wear bow ties like that specifically because, <laughs> like me, refused to date them in high school. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> I'm just atoning for my motherfucking crimes. <laughs> um, yeah, so that, so that the the sort of the argument that people like Bash Day put forward is that prices went down post this post this destruction of the union, which is true. But what actually happened was that prices were already declining because that's how commodities work, and as things go on, and like this, the, the airline prices ex, like expanded through the economy, became more of a service, and um, you know the exporting of production to the global south, and all the all the uh, uh, part, modes of production which produce cheap commodities for the global north conspired to make airline prices go down. What happened post the union destructions was that they still went down, but a less at a, sl a slower rate. So the only conclusion you can reach of that, that information is that that did not help consumers. Mm -hmm. But more importantly, it fucked over workers, obviously. Mm -hmm. so, and, it, and it led to a massive conglomeration monopolization of the air airline unions. Uh, oh, oh, sorry, airline companies. So there's now only, what, like three major airline companies with a bunch of subsidiaries. Before that, mm -hmm. there were more, more sort of disaggregated among different things. Um, similarly, in, in the UK, the destruction of, of UK-wide um, nationalised energy has meant a, pro well, a proliferation of a bunch of like random marketized uh, oil and gas selling companies with a few big production giants. So we've got a bunch of middle management fucking uh, uh, oil, oil buyers and sellers in a, in a, in a stupid market that keep going bust and getting bailed out, going bust and getting bailed out. And things happen like that with the airlines as well, where subsidiaries get bust and get bailed out, get bust and get bailed out. So, you know, they both fucked different areas in cool and fun and interesting ways. The important part, I guess, is that um, the destruction of organised labour allows for these sort of anti-worker and, frankly, anti... Not, not to use their own terminology, but anti-consumer uh, politics to get pushed through in the, fir in, in the first place. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Reagan also liked Pinochet. Oh, I bet he did. Fucking I bet Reagan. he fucking did. Sorry, it <laughs> cut out. What was that word? Which word? Reagan liked what? Oh, Pinochet. Oh, uh, all I heard was, Reagan really liked Pinochet. And then I, I got Coop going, oh, I bet he did. I knew that's what you were doing. I can tell from your face. That's exactly what you were doing. I was like, wait. <laughs> oh, Kaylin, wait until we talk about how Reagan acted during the fucking AIDS crisis. Um, oh. I heard it was incredibly empathetic, full, like uh -huh. so graceful and like yeah. honestly yeah. a queer icon. Yeah. From what I've heard. And that's why only like 150 <laughs> people died. Because he was on yeah. top of that shit. Right. Me and Nancy. Very similar to Thatcher in that regard as well. Uh, yeah. yeah. Nancy Nancy and Margaret glug glug Reagan and Thatcher. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, by the way, uh, about that that guy that we were talking about earlier that we showed the picture of, uh, Zilla said he looks like the guy who failed out of his higher degree in classics and claims he left in protest of cancel culture. <laughs> That's pretty good. Well, what a yes. specific insult. I know. I just also, like... We have like 83 people watching right now. That's pretty cool, assuming that's right. <laughs> Kaylin, <laughs> Kaylin, cut that out. Kaylin, when you edit it, dub, dub it to say like a thousand. A <laughs> hundred million people are watching, right? Wow. Now. 
Six hundred thousand people are watching. They're not watching yeah. Hassan Piker right now. That's like, <laughs> They're crazy. Here. That's fucking coconut. <laughs> I can't believe this is the most popular live stream that YouTube has ever had. I know, it's wild. Yeah. Um, I hope we get a Lila plaque. Box or Lila Box is watching from Germany and sends a peace sign. Oh! Hello hey. from, hello Germany. <laughs> Hi Germany! <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe the whole of Germany whole is watching our fucking live stream. Look. The problem is they're just watching on one computer. <laughs> <laughs> one big screen in the middle of like just Germany all crowded Square. around, and, and that's where they're all watching. It. It's yeah. like the Hunger Games. All these like yeah. peasants in a town square watching on like a big video at gunpoint. I'm like, <laughs> the dystopian future is just our faces on a giant screen <laughs> shitting on dead people. <laughs> I imagined that they were all in one room uh, watching on one of those like classic IMAX with the like jewel tone colors <gasps> from the night. Oh, the candy oh, apples. Yeah. I don't know if yeah. that's what they were actually called, but that's what I call them. But they look like that. Yeah, yeah they look I'm like that. I'm obsessed. I'm here for it. I love the aesthetic. Uh, mm -hmm. They some... make you hungry. Yeah. A fun thing, a, a, a wee fun thing about sort of, I talk about like Pinochet and Thatcher and Reagan. Um, a fun thing about Thatcher and uh, te telling about sort of the degree to which her position was initially very unstable um, before the Falklands War was that there were a bunch of a bunch of documents which were declassified not too long ago, uh, showing that if Thatcher failed in her sort of monetary revolution, uh, her Hayekian revolution members of the right wing of the Conservative Party were prepared to start a coup uh, against the Prime Minister, a military coup, and they had a retired general who called himself Britain's Pinochet, who was full on ready to do a coup uh, and, and had elements of the military supporting him if Thatcher couldn't get through her policy quick enough. Um, so, you know, thank God for her committing war crimes. Um, <laughs> yeah. I want that on a shirt. <laughs> thank God. Thank God for war crimes. Thank God. Thank God for war crimes. <laughs> yeah, it, it sort of, and, and, and I think she probably knew about this because she started um, fashioning herself as this simultaneous, like, housewife um, figure. She she talked a lot about being the 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 country's like housewife tightening its belt in these times of trouble. A sort of form of discourse that's still ongoing to this day and justified austerity in the UK, like using the same language. So she, she self she did that at the same time as as like getting photographed like on a tank and <laughs> uh, and I I think uh, there was a conflict I think in Eastern Eastern Europe I can't remember the exact co conflict, but like she went along went on a tank and got loads of photographs so that she was like the big war woman as well. So she was both simultaneously mm -hmm. this, this housewife and like war general and had this whole like image of being a strong stern, you know, that's the iron lady. This lady's not for turning kind of shit. Um, mm -hmm. Really cementing the worst vibes that she possibly <laughs> could. Like scientific, she was a scientist. She she scientifically calibrated the worst vibes and did it. <laughs> just worst. like in the lab. She entered the worst vibes into an algorithm. Uh, just speaking like from one trad wife to another. Like, <laughs> if I was going to be like, I'm going to be like the housewife of the UK. I would do something about that fucking hair. Um, <laughs> that's just my internalized misogyny speaking. Um <laughs> Someone on, oh, oh gosh, I think I lost now it I'm looking chat. up her hair. Um, who, okay. Um, Ew. I, I didn't see who <laughs> asked it, but um, uh, somebody was asking, is she still um, kind of like lauded um, in the UK in the way that, in the way that Reagan is in, your, in the US? Because like here, he is still considered uh, an untouchable icon. Um, I don't, mm. like, I don't know if, if she is as much there as she as he is here i mean among conservatives she is but among anyone who's not tory she's pre she's a national hate figure and she was at the time yeah um like there was there was no 
like, and I'm, I, I don't know how what the what the context of Reagan is, but I, I imagine there's plenty of people who are like, yeah, fuck that guy. Um, but she was like, she was a national villain for for a good like fifty percent of the population, maybe higher. Um, mm-hmm. Did she love it? In Scotland. <laughs> like no, like there's some people that like like Trump. Like Trump loves being hated. Um, like um, happy nine eleven to all the haters and losers vibes. Like is was she like she no, just really enjoying this? I, I don't think so. Um, I don't think in that same way. She had a real disdain for people, uh, which is in part like part of the uh, her political project is like mm-hmm. taking power away from people. Um, she had a real disdain for 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 people, and she, she so she she had this like I this image uh, that she'd crafted of being like from a from a working class background, which was not really true. Her dad was like a green grocer, owned a business, so she was like petty bourgeois, upper middle class. But because she was upper middle class, not posh, like Tories uh, often didn't like her and being a woman until she took power and like then they all fell in love with her. Um, but she used that to sort of project the image that she was sort of of the people until she became, she got confronted with any of the people who might have disagreed with her. There's a very, very good clip of Thatcher being challenged by women on the sinking of the Belgrano, on the war cry. And uh, the woman on the phone is just like, we know that the, it, was, it was retreating. We know that, that you're lying to us. Uh, why are you lying to us? Why did you do this? And you can see Thatcher just absolutely seething uh, with like a chilling, chilling degree of rage. Like... Mm-hmm. Like it, it's with some people you're like, oh, this person might have been like, there might be humanizing elements to her, but you see Thatcher like clips of her. She was a chilling, chilling individual. Like, like if evil exists, she was fucking evil, and lots of people, mm-hmm. lots and lots of people got that. She was like, she was not universally loved, and still isn't universal loved. And like, in places, it's almost universal hatred. Like Scotland, among uh, because because of certain things she did in Scotland, things like um, the poll tax, which was a tax, oh, I can't remember the details of it specifically, but it was, it was a, a, a random tax that affected Scotland more in some, in some, some degree. Uh, it was kind of just fucked for, for reasons that I can't really remember off the top of my head, but uh, that involved a whole bunch of riots and, and the deindustrialization of the UK hit Scotland particularly hard, the closing of Glasgow shipyards, the closing of all these like industrial heartlands place where I grew up, um, which was former mining country, uh, just fucked. Just like when I was growing up, there was just nothing there. Um, and now it's all, now it's all like commuter town shit, very like, very suburban. But when I was growing up, it was all like, not like that. And fucked areas. So everybody in those areas hated her. Um, mm-hmm. You had some degrees of like, w- sort of working class Tories and who who liked her for for certain reasons and she was very popular among young people at the time um a, a particular um a particular brand of young person um, one of the reasons why is um hoots mentions the reason why you're in a, a studio flat right now is that she began the selling off of council housing the complete uh, wholesale destruction of social housing in the uk was begun by thatcher and for a period that was incredibly popular because people thought that owning your own home was the pinnacle of achievement, not, not renting mm-hmm. it off the council, but owning it. Um, and the effect of that has been a huge transfer of housing, not to individuals, but to a bunch of corporate and private landlords mm-hmm. who own the vast yeah. majority of these old council houses. That's and nice. now a bunch of housing benefit is being paid to those corporate landlords. <clears throat> So they, they both got a bunch of assets and a bunch of money from the government to, into their pockets. Uh, but she started that, that and uh, is the, the increased financialization of housing and the fucked uh, housing market that exists in the UK is directly traceable to those policies that she enacted. Um, the reason why London rents are average, like outrageously high, much higher than, than most people can afford. And the reason why housing stock is so low, despite if I look out my window, about a third of the houses and flats around me being mm-hmm. occupied, they're owned by a bunch of corporate landlords who can't find people to rent them because they don't have the money to rent them at the rates they need to make profit. Uh, mm-hmm. Another, another, yeah, another thing she, she did that was fucked. 
This isn't going to be very structured. Again, I've not planned anything. <laughs> this is like a I'm totally fine. This is like a totally fine. <laughs> That's fine. That's like fine. We, we also have had time to react to things and 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 rib yeah. anyway. Yeah. So you're you're totally fine. Um, um, there was actually something in the the comments I wanted to read because we were just talking about her her like ability or whatever and. Um, Lincoln Bio said, I would love to know if this is true, says, Ding Dong, the witch is dead, went to number one in pop charts the week she died. Is that true? Because I, uh, that's how is amazing. It pop? <laughs> that's absolutely true. Yeah. I mean, isn't um, The Wizard of Oz pretty mainstream? Oh, sorry. So I, I thought song? pop was like pop, like the genre, not like popular music. I'm like, I don't popular. know. <laughs> I don't that's know if that classifies. That's what pop is, is short for. It's popular pop. Yeah, Kaylin, you yeah. dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that. I thought it was like a bubble. <laughs> like I was popping something. No, that was, that was like it was like a It's not that, my friend. <laughs> Sorry for being fucking stupid. Okay. <laughs> I'm actually not sorry. I am stupid, but I'm uh, not sorry. Never, never apologize for that, sweetie. Ever. I <laughs> I had a housing follow-up question because I'm like vaguely aware of British things because cause I lived there for a while, but I don't anymore. So I'm not like super well-informed. Um, was Grenfell Tower like publicly owned or or was that one of the like how the council flats that were purchased by a private entity and then just like not kept up? I believe, so I believe that Grenfell Tower was council owned. Um, uh, I don't know. The, I don't know all the details about it. I might be wrong on that. I, that'd be something I'd have to check up. Um, I could speak to sort of general trends and a lot yeah. of this stuff. So like, um, a lot of the council housing, or, or one big council block that exists around where I live, that a housing group I do a bit of stuff with, is trying has been trying to protect from expansion for uh, twenty years at this point. Uh, they've been trying to demolish this council housing and put up luxury flats or for a for a period put up student uh, student accommodation um one of the tactics they use to uh encourage people to move uh, is no longer uh, provide council upkeep for these properties um, jesus christ so people are living in like slumlord housing basically yeah, they're living in, the, and we get people who don't have running water, they don't have electricity, they have holes in their walls. Oh, and, Lord. And if you walk, like, down um, down canals or down some streets in, in London, you can tell which buildings are the ones that are council-owned, that they're trying to encourage people out of, because they are mm -hmm. so run down. Uh, they yeah. don't, like, have cardboard in, in the windows and stuff, because the council just blocks people and refuses to fix things and all that shit because mm -hmm. they they want to sell it off they want to make some fucking yeah. money out of it um even like our the one the council that i'm in is fucking a left labor council and still doing all this shit uh it's ubiquitous um yeah i mean we've got that here in la as well we've got a whole bunch of like um people with d's next to their names who are basically funded by um development prop like development companies and mm -hmm. and um uh they th there is absolutely no incentive to address our outrageous housing crisis here um because their pockets are being lined by wealthy developers mm -hmm. yeah uh yeah it, it's the, the the moment that all that stuff is hugely commodified they they want to fuck things over for people who can't afford it. Oh, Harker, the storyteller, says Grenfell uh, was council-owned but maintained by a private company who had been contracted to operate. So That yeah. tracks. <laughs> yeah. The, yeah. A little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. That's so fucking depressing. <laughs> <laughs> so now these kids have cardboard windows if they have a home and no milk. Yep. <laughs> like yeah. what? What? It Thanks, always boggles teacher. my mind when <laughs> politicians cause like so much direct harm to the people that are like very much going to remember what happened. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But I guess if you're if you're planning on being fucking dead soon or something, it's not that big of a deal. But like, if you're poor, you're pretty powerless. Yeah. You true. know. 
I guess I guess nobody's drink, really like talking. I guess nobody's really murdering these people anymore. Like there's nothing to be afraid of. Like Except for that fucking guy in Japan who killed Shinzo Abe. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so one guy. Like I missed I the good old days when we would throw movies. boots at people or what what somebody threw a shoe? Someone threw a shoe at a uh, uh was it George Bush? Yeah, it was Bush, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, just, just a shoe thrown uh, at him was great. But they're not scared icon. enough. <laughs> like you should be more scared if you're fucking yeah. that many people yeah. over. I mean, more more recently, there's been a few more incidents of politicians being, uh, quote, harassed at, like, restaurants and stuff like that. Oh, and man. they've made such a big deal, like, oh, it's so unfair. I'm here to eat a steak and relax, and I shouldn't have to deal with this, and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, they're still just yelling at you. They're not, like, coming yeah. up and throwing your own food in your face. Like, they're still just yelling at you. That's not that bad. <laughs> like, it could be a lot worse. And should um, be. Could be a lot worse. Should be. <laughs> at the risk of getting our channel banned, uh, don't harass them at restaurants. Harass them at their houses. That shit yeah. is Googleable. Yeah. And you'll uh, know you hit the right one because it'll be blurred it'll on be Google Maps. Out. It'll be the big blurry house next yeah. to the two houses that you can still easily identify. And then the servers <laughs> aren't forced to call the police and like file reports and like you're yeah. not fucking over anybody just trying to like it's, work their job. Uh, uh, I, I'm sorry. I have to disagree yeah, with this. Back. You should. Oh no! You should harass them in both the restaurants and their house. Oh. Wh- okay. Okay. So John the Duncan is a centrist. <laughs> Fuck <he's> canceled. <laughs> oh, both sides are valid. Okay. <laughs> Look, I, I'm just an equal opportunity harasser. Okay. I mean, like, why stop there? Like, they should well, be correct. in the dent in the dental exam chair. Like looking up at the light, and your like face yes. appears over them. Oh. Like, who the fuck do you think you are? I, my house is made out of fucking cardboard. BRB, I'm googling how to become a dentist. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine the fear if someone's got the fucking dentist drill in their mouth, and they ask you about your political <laughs> legacy. <laughs> Not me, like. like- not me becoming a cosmetic surgeon in Los Angeles just so that, like, before I put someone, like, I've literally got, like, the gas mask over their face, putting them out, and I'm like, so what are you going to do about the homelessness crisis? <laughs> <laughs> Count to ten! <laughs> yeah, like, let's, let's just go in for a dental appointment and the dentist <laughs> leaning over and saying, what have you done about my energy bills, Liz? <laughs> <laughs> What a thing to come back to. This is perfect. <laughs> yeah, I gotta, I gotta like do fucking outreach to some dentists in the area. You know, my dentist seems pretty cool. <laughs> He'd let me moonlight. <laughs> <laughs> Be like, I have a white on, coat. I'm just gonna do a filling. I'm just gonna do fucking filling. How hard is that? You're just pouring juice in the hole. Come on, just one <laughs> fucking filling. Just let me do one fucking filling. <laughs> just one. <laughs> Well, talking about, like, um, encouraging people to bother politicians, mm-hmm, my yeah. my dad was banned from um, receiving, government, uh, receiving government publications and government data and was blacklisted by the Chancellor's office during Thatcher's premiership. Um, really? Because um, he wrote a paper on a, a Thatcherite economic uh, concept called performance-related pay, which is the, like the concept that you tie pay with a person's performance and a bunch of metrics and you increase productivity. So goes the theory. And my dad basically took out all of the information and all the data and everything from that, from government's, like, government data and stuff, and showed that it was nonsense. It had no basis in any fact at all productivity was independent of pay pretty much um and he got a phone call from the chancellor's office but from nigel lawson um father of popular uh, and sexy chef nigella lawson um oh uh, no she's good though she's don't worry she's all right i like her yeah Yeah. i love that don't worry like it's okay you can still like her like yeah (laughs) It's always heartbreaking to me when pretty people suck. So I'm like, I need her to be okay. It hurts so much more because it's like, you could have been something. <laughs> You're well, so beautiful. 
she's orders of magnitude better than her dad. Um, Good. Well, my, my dad got a call from Nigel Lawson's uh, office saying, uh, and he picked up his phone and said, uh, they said, oh, this is the Chancellor's office. We'd like to talk to you about your paper. And my dad thought it was a prank, so he went, ah, oh, fuck off. And <laughs> <laughs> uh iconic <laughs> yeah. Yeah. sorry i love your dad <laughs> my my dad my famous my favorite story my dad my mom told me was um when when she first met him she would describe him as the only communist who would plant a car bomb but would worry about double parking <laughs> oh. Maybe that was the wrong <laughs> reaction, that's but adorable. that's so sweet. <laughs> that's it is adorable. <laughs> Weirdly, very wholesome. <laughs> yes, it's so cute. He just doesn't want to. He just doesn't want to inconvenience other people, you know. Yeah. <laughs> right. Like he wants to. Sure, we'll blow up the what bank, but like, it doesn't want to get a ticket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, so, you already sorry, spent all that I, money on I bomb didn't parts. Know. I didn't know that, um, I didn't, sorry, um, <laughs> Siri just, like, responded to me. She was, like, getting in on the chat. She's like, um, did somebody say car bomb? I, <laughs> <laughs> really, she's like, here's where you can get ammonium nitrate. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Um, uh, I, I had no idea that Nigella Lawson's dad was named Nigel. Yes, yeah, it's fun, yeah, like, that's, isn't it? that's I'm having a little shit. girl. That's the thing about these stories, is that they're all fucking freaks. Like, they're all fucking freaks. All. Like, yeah. they're not, they're not, not in, like, a good way. They do sh fucking stuff, like, name their daughter Nigella. Or, like, hang yeah, around with their up. nanny until they're 60 years old. And, like, oh, get, no. this is Jacob Rees-Mogg we're talking about now. Ha no. His, nanny, his fucking nanny is now his children's nanny. And if you see them standing next to each other, they look like American Gothic. It's fucking weird oh, no. as shit. These oh tutorials are all freaks. Not okay. an intergenerational not nanny. No, they're not, not good freaks. Not doing like fun stuff. Doing like, you're just like, hey. That's some on. weird cringe sicko shit. Not like the kind yeah. of sicko shit I like. But, oh, like the other yeah. kind that makes yeah. me uncomfy. We can bring that back. Intergenerational that nanny is weird. Oh, it's so weird. Yeah. But, I, but a great, like, series idea. <laughs> it's just, like, spanning, like, <laughs> 60 years. Nanny. <laughs> She's actually an immortal vampire, just to make it more interesting. Okay, but is it Fran Drescher? Or are we finding... Okay, there... I'd watch the hell out of that Netflix show. <laughs> Fran Drescher, vampire nanny. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we can scrap the like wearing the all the same outfits from the original show. Oh, absolutely! <laughs> Sorry. Yes. Fucking, I'm out of this podcast now. I'm gonna go get my fucking Emmy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, <laughs> Caitlin, John, you want to join the podcast permanently? <laughs> I, feel you... like, I feel like, um, in terms of like a, a, a TV show for a Tory's <laughs> nanny, it would have to be like sort of a like a like a like a horrible horrible bastard's performance to be like. Sarah Paulson doing one of our terrifying performances of like a Tory's yeah. nanny. Yeah. Just... Uh, I would watch the fuck out of that. Oh. I mean, yeah. I would I would literally watch Sarah Paulson like sit there and brush her hair. I would not care. Yes. I would... <laughs> Ripping out clumps. <laughs> <laughs> like a As he fucking... just stares dead at the mirror. <laughs> yeah. Like Mary Poppins' evil twin. Oh, I'm so here for it. So, yeah. Mary Poppins. <laughs> ugly Mary Poppins. <laughs> I would also okay, watch that. <laughs> Just ugly Mary Poppins now streaming on Netflix. Honestly, like, Mary Poppins seems like a little bit of a fascist. We just, like, let her slide again because she's pretty. <laughs> she's played well, by Julie Andrews. Yeah, I... My mother used to watch that when I was a kid. Not, like, watch it with us, but, like, she would watch it. And mm. I would always be like, do we need, do we need to watch this again? Sending like, it to bed watch something to that's watch on TV? Mary Poppins. She's, like, oh. <laughs> she's like, she's so sweet and soothing. And I'm like, um, she like falsified her resume. Not like I'm against <laughs> that, but like. <laughs> Actually, like, I do think the movie holds up. It's a good movie. Well, I mean, she, good movie. She, she's a demon, right? Yeah. Like she has yeah. all these like powers. Like she's a demon. Yo, no, yeah, I mean, she's a demon. 
She's got like a purse that's like bigger on the inside. The a bag of holding, umbrella yeah. thing, yeah. or cane. Everybody just talks like it's when she, when head she on reaches it. into that bag, she's reaching like straight into hell to grab whatever yeah, she's yeah. pulling out. <laughs> that's what I was gonna say. That's like, that's like how you know it's a hell a mouth. <laughs> yeah. She walks around with a little hell mouth in her purse. Okay, okay, a portable hell mouth is iconic, yeah. right? But you that guys, is very she is. She is the demon nanny of a couple of budding little young socialists, <laughs> and we simply have to stand that. <laughs> um, I don't remember that part of the movie, but I was also like... In Mary Poppins too, they just end up being kind of annoying, don't they? The the, the grown-up children. Uh, I, just, yeah. I just it watched sucks. it, I was like, man, it's not you very good. Fucking... Yeah, it wasn't very good. Also, like, I've got, like, this love-hate relationship with Lin-Manuel Miranda, where I feel like, um... Oh, you add love to that dimension? <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what? I like Hamilton. I do. I like, I like, I think the songs are good. I think he's a bad actor, uh, and I think, um... And not, like, in the way actor. that he's, like, planning on doing horrible things to people who are pretending to be nice. He's just, like, terrible at acting. <laughs> no, I think he seems like he's genuinely a nice person. Like, a uh, little cringe. Yeah. Very cringe. Very but I think yeah. he seems like a nice person. And I think, like, uh, outside of all of the, like, whitewashing or, of history, like... <laughs> the songs from Hamilton are a fucking bop. They yeah, fucking there are some lie. bops. Yeah. There are they some really up. good bops. They fucking I, go, I'm like, yeah, riffing the hell out of shit. Us talking about Hamilton is a very good time for me to get a drink. So <laughs> everybody just keep enjoying your lives. Yeah. Kaylin is like, ew, you like musicals? I'm out. Out. <laughs> well, Especially talk- rap musicals. Talking about um, weird, weird psychosexual Tories. Uh, the, way, <laughs> the way that a lot of Tories conceptualize Margaret Thatcher is, in my view deeply psychosexual like they all want to be Me. dommed by th- by mommy, mommy thatcher King. they, they all- must have a God. funny thing mommy 100%. thatcher like they're uh. like step on me and let me let me suckle on your teat yeah let me live up to your legacy mommy uh. <laughs> <laughs> i'm actually just a little oh, yeah. a little Concerned, right? Ah, oh, that's gross. Because like I've seen, mm. I've seen plenty of pictures of what Margaret Thatcher looks like. Like I know what she looked like, and that is a okay. <laughs> oh, the co- I mean, the uh, collective outcry when Gillian Anderson, like from that's from literally left what I was and about gay to say. Twitter, when when Gillian Anderson got that role, <laughs> Gillian <laughs> fucking Anderson, uh, like. I- I've seen clips of her and she plays it like, and I saw an interview where Jenny Lynn Anderson was like, yeah, to prepare for this, I thought I'd play her as a serial killer. And I was like, okay, Jillian, okay, you get a pass this time. <laughs> but like, I don't know, like, this was like, so I watched The Crown and my parents watched, my parents love The Crown. And like, that was like one of their complaints. They were like, Gillian Anderson at her absolute worst is still so charming. She can't be Margaret Thatcher. They're like, yeah. she makes her too likable even when she's trying to be heinous. Like, yeah. and she's just so sexy. Like, that's such a fucking glow she up. Is. Like, oh my god, that woman. Um, Margaret Thatcher. I did. Mandy. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> he reached directly right to the mic. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> yeah, man, he's like, man, the I look alone and on camera wide on. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna go away now. <laughs> <laughs> Margaret Thatcher's hair, which was brought up earlier, um, when I when I put her through uh, through Dolly, when I asked Dolly to give me an image of Margaret Thatcher in a grave. Um, <laughs> In two of the images they first suggested, they just put her with like a an errant bush that happened to be behind her as her hair, like in the in the gar like in the like foliage of the cemetery, just like a, an orange bush. <laughs> you could describe her hair as kind of like an errant bush. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I always looks like it's like a sort of place on her head, like a Lego man's. Yeah, <laughs> it, it does look like that. It's very like cut and fashioned in a very particular way. It doesn't look real. It looks like she smooths it down before she goes out. Like, yeah. yeah, it's like not even just running a brush through it. It's just like <laughs> some some wax candle wax on your hand, and then just like patting it in until it's like a. 
a nice little a nice little hair halo. I'm sure she was very invested in like um, 1980s hairspray, like aerosol hairspray, because she was probably thinking like this will piss off those environmentalists. Yeah, add in burn a <laughs> hole in the ozone layer. Yeah, add fucking burning holes in the ozone to her list of crimes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, maybe I should know this, purpose. but do we know what happened with that? Did we fix that? Should I be worried? Yeah, actually, like, we've returned to, like, pre-fucking uh, Aquanet ozone levels. We patched up the ozone because we, like, got on top of that shit. Not it's you saying Aquanet like I know change. what that means. That's the hairspray. Oh, okay. That's, that's <laughs> the ozone-killing hairspray. Yeah. Um, okay, well, good for yeah. us. I guess we don't need to worry it's, about climate change then. We'll figure it it's out. It's almost like if we actually, like, if we, if we as a community and as a culture, like, come together to, like, actually address some man-made, some anthropogenic uh, issues, like, we can actually, like, fix them. Well. It's crazy. 2040, well, right? Yeah, Thatcher has to say. <laughs> it's partially because Thatcher's hair fell out and then she fucking died. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, please tell me she went fucking bald. Tell me she I died know. like bald and alone. She got old. <laughs> I just assume because she didn't have very much hair to begin with. Okay. She probably stole Orphan's hair if, if she was going to go bald. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it was Ginger. Right, Thatcher, <laughs> you look up Thatcher and you're going to find that comically evil shit she's done. It's like, oh, what? What? Are we, what? What? Uh, oh, she she didn't like the look of her own legs, so she chopped off someone else's and glued them on. Yeah, that tracks. <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> Just I don't know if this is little stumps coming. I don't know if this is true. Literal but I orphans. It. <laughs> yeah. Chopped off a literal orphan, which is so weird because she needed adult legs. So she actually <laughs> waited until the orphan was like twenty five before <laughs> cutting them off. But she specifically sought out somebody who didn't have parents. Yeah, I mean. They, kept, kept, yeah, they have the she, strongest she legs. Grew them. She grew orphans from on, on a on a stem in a vat. Yeah. <laughs> on a stem. <laughs> Watch them all. Margaret the Thatcher, orphan scientist. <laughs> orphan yeah. I was imagining the like fields from like the Matrix when they're like harvesting yeah. people, like little pods like that, little babies. <laughs> She's harvesting. Yeah, and she, that's she, adorable. Oh yeah. Unhinge her snake jaw and then, like, <laughs> are they she orphans into, if like, they the never had parents? <laughs> yes, Galen, they are. But, like, if if you were born in a lab, are you an orphan? I feel like it's like a widow, right? Like, you sort of, you sort you of have need parents? to have had something beforehand. Oh, I think you can it? be an orphan oh. and never have yeah. known your parents. But if you're okay, but that's a little different than being grown what? on a stem what? in a lab. <laughs> if you're, you're, my you're, parent you're is a stem. stem. <laughs> like you're if technically she... <laughs> right, but what she did to overcome that, she simulated the orphan's psychological stress by like <laughs> giving them all pictures of their pre of their parents. <laughs> Um, it was like, <laughs> she, it's like, she did what? It's like, it's she did what we do with fucking? She did what we do with fucking orphan baby birds, where she puts the parents' faces on a puppet, <laughs> like sticks it in the room. <laughs> Fuck. I'm serious here. Like, it's not the meat that she got the the pleasure from when she was eating. It was the anguish. Yeah. She's like she's like the clown from yeah. it. It's like not the not the people they eat, but the fear. Mm, she yeah. feeds yeah. on fear. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, mm, Well, Maggie, as we learned abandoning. in Monsters Inc., <laughs> laughter is better than fear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagining Margaret Thatcher in the in the it costume now though, with like <laughs> Instead of a balloon, Doing it's that, like a like, weird little milk. dance. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Someone, someone has to animate that. Like, there's someone out there who's got to animate that. Fans, we come up on you. Not oh, you no. summoning no. them like a witch. I, I'm <laughs> summoning the worms and the arsicos. <laughs> now you guys are going to ruin Pennywise for me, and I was, like, weirdly attracted to Pennywise before. Oh. Okay, let's dig into this. Well, what? <laughs> <laughs> John grabbed the mic. It was like, all right, we need to dig into this right now. I don't know. 
like that scars guard in it part one i was like i'd let him get me i'd crawl down into that fucking sewer <laughs> like belly first too wouldn't even care just slides right the fuck in like you're What's on a slip and slide. He wants children though. He wants <laughs> children though. And like my 33 year old ass would be like sliding in and he'd be like, no. Ew. No uh, ew, get <laughs> out. <laughs> Do you think you'd, would, you, would you like defeat Pennywise the clown by freaking him out so much by being like, I'm just a little <laughs> kid. <laughs> I'm, I'm, <barely. laughs> I'm just a little baby. Don't you want me, Tony? <laughs> I feed him his fear. <laughs> Pennywise like, no. Oh. <laughs> what is that? Fucking melt. I mean, it is, it is interesting. No one's ever tried fucking the clown. Why haven't we tried this? I mean, it honestly. Somebody, somebody get Mandy. You live in Maine. Get Stephen King on the phone. I will. Sorry. I will call Stevie right now. I'm, write, I'm writing an email, dear Stephen King. <laughs> Your clown is <laughs> Oh, I'm sure he's gotten emails like that before. He's just like, whatever. <laughs> just like opening up, opening up his email to a subject sex clown. <laughs> Concerning I sex I have a few notes about your sex clown. Yeah. Dear Stephen. <laughs> I read all 1,000 pages of your novel and nobody fucked the clown. There was fucking, but nobody fucked the clown. <laughs> Why I didn't, did know, I I didn't actually read it. I listened to the audiobook. <laughs> oh my god. I wish so that our episodes had like <laughs> names so Thatcher. that this episode could be named Margaret, Margaret Thatcher Sex Clown. <laughs> oh, uh, don't uh, anybody make that merch I swear to god I'll come to your house and split your throat <laughs> fans do not assemble I know she had children but okay. like there's no way she had sex right like she mated <laughs> she probably um, grew them on her orphan <laughs> tree she just took no, a couple her, home like, her going feral and mounting someone. I was like like a praying mantis. She like has like bit off his head afterwards. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. I almost spit. And she's actually going about her business while the body continues rutting. Like she doesn't actually even care. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got I've got milk to snatch. <laughs> <laughs> like you keep decomposing. I'll be back for some of that some of, some of that some some later. I got I got milk to oh snatch, cardboard to put milk in windows. <laughs> Not Maggie T, the milk snatcher. <laughs> milk snatcher. Wait. Sex clown. Hates it. Hates it when kids What a pervert. <laughs> <laughs> Vitamin D? Not on my watch. <laughs> May your bones brittle and break. Uh, Mario, that's just that's one weakness. Job. Calcium. <laughs> That's why she didn't want it there to be milk anywhere. She oh my god, this is calcium. just like in earnest scared stupid. <laughs> am, am I too, is everybody else too? Mandy might remember this. Ernest scared stupid, where they I don't think I ever saw is that. This one. Like, people in the chat, do we remember Ernest? The horrible the, I know who Ernest is, but I just don't remember this movie. It was Ernest Scared Stupid, and a bunch of demons attack like a town on Halloween, and they're one. Their one weakness was like mother's love, which just turned out to be like milk from CVS. <laughs> that you <could> pour <laughs> on them. Specifically milk from CVS. <laughs> really <are. laughs> what fucking nasty executive dreamt up this part of <laughs> Mother filling me with her love. <laughs> Come on, baby. Oh my god, the chat's just talking about clown kink now. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, oh stop! Don't cyber bully me. <laughs> <laughs> it's just because I like that scars guard whose eye goes in weird directions. <laughs> the scars guard are an attractive. Is that bunch. the thing? <laughs> Is it the specifically the eye going in different directions that does it for you? Like, oh. I think that's that's definitely part of it. That I yeah. like a I like a quirk. I like a weird I like a weird yeah. feature. I don't want a man <laughs> looking at me with two eyes. Mind your fucking business. No, I like I like someone who can make sure to watch out for danger yeah. while. Yeah, yeah. Make sure there's no sex clown behind you or something. Yeah, yeah. I see like, a lot um, of horror movies. That's what chameleon. gets them. 
they'll be busy fucking and then they get killed so that's that's smart have one yeah. eye in danger one eye one eye on you one eye looking out for margaret thatcher yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at all times you should have an eye out for margaret thatcher yeah she, she, she could be anywhere, <laughs> be anywhere. <laughs> in case in case she comes back we don't know if they followed that scottish woman's advice they might not have buried her with garlic and a steak steak in her heart that's well, true yeah you know I mean, yeah at her state funeral, there was a lot of jokes because she got a state funeral because the Tories were in, you know, their mm, they have they they have their again their weird mummy kink with her, um, <laughs> but there were lots of jokes about the twenty one gun salute firing directly at the coffin just to make sure. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just like spraying in the air, yeah. splitters and flesh. <laughs> And the Fra Frankie Boyle bit where he's like, oh, they're spending £10 million on a state funeral. For that money, you could give everyone in Scotland a shovel and we'll dig a hole to hell and hand her to Satan ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> I love Here it. Go. <laughs> oh. I she feel like a divisive I think, figure. I think he would hand her back, Bestie. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want it. Just there two cloven is. hooves pushing her back up through the hole. <laughs> like there is a, um, Irish folk song called Lily Balerno, which which is about uh, an Irish farmer and his uh, his wife, who's a fucking nightmare, um, and the wife dies and goes to hell where she promptly goes to batter all the demons and uh, <laughs> Satan brings her back up to earth, at which point he says, I have been the devil the all, all of my life. I never knew hell till I met your wife. And that's the worry with Thatcher. That <laughs> <laughs> Straight people just, make hilarious yeah. music. <laughs> I'm like, what a great story. <laughs> <laughs> what a cute little limerick. <laughs> <laughs> that's a place I've learned <laughs> yeah it yesterday. is a place <laughs> Leland just found that out <laughs> I thought it was being punked people kept saying limerick I'm like mm, hey stupid we that's not what that word means <laughs> we were having a conversation about Irish airports like the most boring conversation we possibly could and Kaylin was like like 10 minutes in the conversation Kaylin was like you've said that word so many times <laughs> It's not a place, is it? <laughs> like, legit thought that we were trying to gaslight them in chat. <laughs> I mean, it's we've possible. We've got a separate group chat where we've got a separate group chat where we just like, okay, this is the word of the day that we're going to convince Kaylin is a completely different word. It happens all yeah. the time. Every day we have that talk. Everything about that story is weird. Why were you talking about Irish airports? <laughs> <laughs> we wanted I can't we about wanted our... to meet up um, oh that's right yeah we were talking we were, we're trying to figure out a, a place we could all meet and where what would be easiest to do that and at one point oh. Ireland came up as an option yeah, yeah. yeah. and my Love lazy it. ass was like well Ireland has got a Ireland has got an agreement with the US where you can go through uh, border control on the Irish side so flying home like is easier because you don't have to like right. go through border control after like a 12 hour flight yeah um so like my lazy ass was like let's do that <laughs> and one of the suggestions was limerick yeah uh, see uh i think so i think so <laughs> which um, i don't know where that is but i know it's a place ireland yeah i know it's a place and also a poem uh, <laughs> um chad is bullying me right now saying listening to pop music in limerick and i'm like <laughs> This is this is the only way I could get them to stop cyberbullying me for wanting to fuck Pennywise. <laughs> Ew. There's seeds in my drink. <laughs> There's seeds? I'm Ew. drinking. Um, I thought it's called On Point. And I'm like, oh, that's classy and gay. It's Weight Watcher wine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the oh, points no, no. are my oh, calories. No. Oh, no. You got low calorie wine. Does it taste like shit? Yeah. Uh, the oh. the guy at the store was like, it's 9% alcohol. And I was like, what's the other 91%? <laughs> he was like, no, it's like 9% alcohol content. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, what else uh, is in it? I mean, okay, this has got to be like, this has got to be like some kind of trend that is like, um, 
that is alluding to something really um, sinister happening happening in society right now. But like every single wine brand is coming, and I know this because I'm an alcoholic, <laughs> is coming out with. Uh, low calorie versions of their like signature wines. Um, so I think I think something bad is about to happen. You guys. <laughs> this is one of the first signs like of the apocalypse. Yeah, the first sign of the apocalypse is the low calorie wine. <laughs> it feels like it feels like oh, all of the athletes are going to turn into alcoholics very soon, and we have to create a market for them. <laughs> which which uh, horseman? Is this <laughs> pestilence? It's the, it's the Instagram influencer horseman of the apocalypse. <laughs> oh my god! Everyone, take a sip in, in solidarity. Yeah, this is not low calorie. I'm I'm drinking um, barefoot bubbly brute cuvee mimosas with just hog words. juice. All oh, of that was just that. words that do not belong together. Can we get that I'm one more drinking... time? Hello, uh, Gen Z. <laughs> I'm drinking pog juice. I'm I'm one with you people. Uh, <laughs> pog juice is passion fruit, orange, and guava. Okay, I'm here From for it. I guess. It sounds good. Um, chat just said the horse girl of the apocalypse, and I'm <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Why I'm saying chat. Beethoven junkie said it. I should. Oh, that's beautiful. nay, motherfuckers. <laughs> nay. <laughs> it's actually really, really rude of them to be funnier than us. So I know, right? Walking. Yeah, this yeah. is our live stream. Kaylin, yeah. block Beethoven junkie from the chat. <laughs> <laughs> You think we're the only ones that can get bullied? I have so much power here. I'm going to just start making Rand the most like toxic person in chat a moderator. I'm going to find you. <laughs> Let's just cause Chaotic. problems. Chaotic. <laughs> Who in chat has never had uh, any power in their lives and thinks that they would go mad on it? We oh, yeah. To know. <laughs> oh, 1000% me. <laughs> I'm not even in chat. <laughs> I would I would be like forcing my I would be forcing everyone around me to get cosmetic surgery with me. Um okay. So before you said it, Hoots sidekick was like is the most toxic person in chat at little Hoot. <laughs> I just, <laughs> sidekick. The answer is yes, but you're not supposed to call me out like that. Blocked. Block him. Anything to do. Block. I got it. Literally the meanest person on Twitter.com. I mean, I used to be too, but then I got followers, so I can't be anymore. Okay, fuck you with your 16,000 followers. Um, oh. It's 20. Go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> into the well hoops into the well. I've got I've got like 1800 so I'm still allowed to be a menace to, to society I feel yeah, like I at a certain point you, you have to back the fuck off I tweeted something with just an innocent little F slur well okay it was it was the Spotify playlist called I hate faggots and nobody liked it I could I could tweet like literally anything and people like it but whenever I go like a little too far, people are like, mm, I don't know where I do not want this in my oh, likes. They didn't try to cancel you for it, though. No, they know they can't. That's <laughs> my one my word head. and I'm going to use it. That's my one <laughs> slur. <laughs> They're like, Am I allowed to like this? <laughs> <laughs> I have got people I, I've had like three times in the past couple years. Somebody DM me and just being like. Hey, um, I wanted to retweet this, but am I allowed to? Because there's a lot of words in oh, it God. I can't say. And I'm like, that's not how retweeting works, Bestie. You're not saying it. It's okay. You're literally <laughs> dropping the slur. What? What? So, okay, I'm gonna... One second. People on Twitter, what's your deal? <laughs> why? 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 Just be normal. It's fine. You, you don't have to. You don't have to message someone. Impossible. To ask to read not, not possible. People on Twitter can't be normal. Literally, <laughs> impossible challenge. Just, be normal. Just be normal. It's fine. Like, I'm normal. I do it. I'm. Your eyes got so wide when you said that. 
Like, I'm normal. I'm normal. I'm normal. <laughs> we all say it at the same time. Oh, oh my no. god. We're someone's sleep paralysis demon now. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Thatcher Pennywise. <coughs> Thatcher Pennywise is my sleep paralysis demon. I would love to be someone's and your sleep angel paralysis. from the sounds of it. I know. Like actually, like um, like. John's right. Being somebody's sleep paralysis demon is like kind of an honor. Like, yeah, oh my god, it's a vibe. Like, yeah. So you're saying you think I about mean... me? You're sleeping. <laughs> oh my god. Oh you my god, you're so obsessed. You're paralyzed. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'd use them to like practice a tight five. Like... <laughs> 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 this is good. Oh no. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Captive oh audience. Like <laughs> any response? I Did you like that one? Like in a while. <laughs> <laughs> just like it's not scary. It's just incredibly awkward. So they're just sitting there, like <laughs> just a lot of pausing, waiting for laughs, even though like you know, homeboy is fully paralyzed. Yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll sorry, Caitlin. Cards. Right, Kaylin, liars fables that I wish my sleep paralysis demon was as hot as Kaylin, and then did like a little like embarrassed horny emoji. <laughs> That's so nice, <laughs> thank you. I do, I do aspire also, to be hot also, so that I have value. Also, Beethoven Junkie said, "John, blink twice if you're in danger." Fuck you. You are in your last fucking morning. <laughs> like you can't bully all of us in our own home. Like, right. <laughs> How dare you come into my house and drag me? I don't like the Ow. implication that I couldn't handle being here. Like, first of all, my ego is big enough to, to compete here. <laughs> oh, so you're saying we're stuck up? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's fair. I just I just wanted to talk about me again. <laughs> now that I've redirected the conversation, I'm fine. Feels <laughs> like okay, good. <laughs> oh, did we just get a spit take? Almost. Ah, where's Angus? Is the cat okay? <laughs> I okay. Is is it twice now that I've spit on him or just the ones? I think it was twice. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Well, it's multiple times, one thousand percent. Time. Yeah. Okay. I always turn away from my camera to to accidentally spit my drink, but the cat's always sitting right there for anybody who isn't like a, a regular listener. And now, anytime I quickly turn and look at him, he's like, <laughs> he doesn't want just like free drink, just spat. Like, don't you fucking dare! He's like, not no, fucking he's... Weight Watchers wine. <laughs> <laughs> A cat oh. would do that as well. A fucking cat would like complain about the booze that you got. <laughs> You're spitting you what on me, <laughs> <laughs> Mandy? Uh, just in case anybody missed that, Mandy's saying, "You're spitting what on me?" <laughs> like, <laughs> there's like an appropriate thing to spit on someone. Other, I guess, spit. Yeah, not like a stranger, <laughs> but like you know, fun to not talk about being like, like, are you calling? Angus is like, do you think I need to lose weight? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can't you spit full cow wine on me? I'm, I'm getting back to Tories and Margaret Thatcher since they all want Thatcher to spit on them. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, spit on me, mommy. Spit on me, mommy, mommy. Was she... How, wait, when did she, she die? Oh, 2013. Oh. Almost 10 years. We're, we're reaching the decade of... of oh, we're getting yeah. close. Yeah. yeah. I but remember I, at the time, I remember at the time, all of my friends being like, well, you didn't have to like her, but she was guess, someone's mother and someone's grandmother and you have to, you so, have to show some respect. So am I. Now, uh, <laughs> how far <laughs> are we? <laughs> Fast forward. Any grandmothers? Right. Fast forward. Fast forward to a, a fucking decade. Also, look at like, me now. <laughs> the person that she was mother to was a fucking arms dealer. <laughs> yeah, I don't care if he's sad. <laughs> that was someone's mother. Guess who it's else like, was a um... mommy? Guess who else was a mommy? All the fucking Iraqis that died. <laughs> right? 
The chat is demanding my cat, but he's Miss not coming. With that. Oh my Angus. god, I keep fucking angles. Rat. Hoots, are you engaging in alcohol abuse over there? It's not abuse if you're I, good at it. Sorry, I don't know. It's twice that. now. <laughs> it's twice now that I've like foamed this glass like to overflowing, and and now I have to like suck champagne off of my desk. Like as you do, as yeah. you do. Suck it up. Su- Sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll talk about who it's Caitlin. <laughs> Sorry, it was Pavlovian. <laughs> I hear suck it and I'm like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> suck what now? <laughs> Did somebody say my name? <laughs> oh, I see a tail. Oh. Oh, mouse. Angus. Chat. Every, everyone in the chat. Oh, pss, 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 we can get Angus here. Oh. <laughs> This is, is there a reason? This is there is a reason Angus everybody McDonald's? on the left has cats? Oh my god, he's Scottish like you. He's named he's after so a, a character from a D&D podcast. So just oh, anybody that I called that, a nerd earlier that, and laughed at. Um, <laughs> is that from um, the McElroy's? Yes, one? Adventure Zone. <laughs> Angus uh, McDonald, boy detective. Angus McDonald, yeah. Mm-hmm. Good character. No, Angus is such a good oh, Are you Silver fine, Chad? Are you says, happy? Oh my god, Angus is perfect. Oh, Chad's is, losing its mind right now. They are like perfect. so happy. He is perfect. He's such a good boy. You can just like hold him like a little fucking baby. Yeah. He's better than everybody else's cats and prettier. <laughs> yeah, that's no, it's true. true. He's definitely better than my piece of shit cat. Sorry, Murray and trauma. <laughs> <laughs> I could true. drop. I could grab our, our cat if you want. Yeah, to go grab cat. your cat. Cat yes. stream. Oh my God, please do. John, I grab love your cat. Cat, cat, cat. stream. Yes. Cat stream. This is no longer about murder. I'm, I'm yelling cat stream. stream, but it's really just because I had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Perfect. Actually, I do need to get another drink. So chat, entertain yourselves for a second. Bully hoots. Oh my God. Kaylin, have so much fun editing this tomorrow. It's going to be a motherfucking and a motherfucking nightmare. So chat, it's just you and me now. Oh, he's eating my jumper. Okay. Let's talk shit. What? Okay. Who is the prettiest person here? <laughs> oh my god, here comes the cat. Here he is. He's gonna be a hassle. I have just woken him up from a sleep. There he is. Hello. He's just chilling. Uh, there he is. What is his name? Anton. Anton. Look at it. I love it when cats do that with their arms. When they're like, oh, you're holding me. I don't know what to do. Cat. Oh, he knows what to do. He's going to cause trouble. Oh, yeah, he is. Oh, he's such a good boy. Look at his legs. He has such long legs. He's such a yeah. long cat. Stop he eating is. my headphones. He <laughs> actually... He quite can't Anton done. kind of... Anton kind of looks like if you took Angus and you like stretched him. Yeah, I actually the other day I was I couldn't remember the name of the cat and I was calling him Fit Angus. <laughs> and Angus. And long Angus. <laughs> like, oh my god! So long. So long. Skinny Angus. Skinny Angus. Right? Yeah, exactly. Oh my god! Look at those He's... legs. <laughs> He's so long. He's giving so long. weasel. He's such a long I'm obsessed. <laughs> So long. He, he Murray's really long too. He's like that, where he can just stretch right out. Oh, I'm trying to him. headphones. <laughs> Cat, oh, I think he oh, Chat just God. said, "Did you just oh, walk off?" Ah. <laughs> Chat is <laughs> accusing John of 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 like walking off screen and taking Angus. <laughs> and bring- <laughs> <laughs> He's just taking your cat out of your screen. <laughs> He's long because he had to stretch him through the screen, He's like pulling him through the computer. <laughs> what was his name? Right, that's, that's uh, Anton? Was that the name of the cat? Oh my god, Beethoven Anton. Junkie is like legitimately killing me here. <laughs> Saying that he's skinny because he was drinking Weight Watchers wine. I'm like, <laughs> I love a callback. She oh, loves shit. a callback. I guess it works. 
I guess that Weight Watchers wine works. Not that I should well. go get some 9% wine. Well, the thing is, so you said it's like 9%, right? But like normal wine is like 15%. So it's like I'm just going to drink like three times as much and then I'll, I'll end up getting more calories. I love that math. Like 15 divided by three equals nine. <laughs> like that's that's alcohol math though i will drink three times as much but i that's will end good. up drinking more alcohol to try to compensate for the fact that the alcohol by volume is lower no it's good oh. though because i can't stop myself from like physically drinking because i just i'm a thirsty thirsty person um, Same. so it's, it's probably better that i'm not drinking like 15%. You're basically drinking an IPA right now. Also, I like, I originally I thought the hip flask thing was a joke. And then at some point, I didn't want to interrupt, but like John like pulled out the flask and like, started, I was like, oh, okay, this is like a real thing. This wasn't like a bit. I'm obsessed. I want a flask. No, I didn't think it was a joke. <laughs> I have a thigh flask. I don't wear it very often though, because it's kind of heavy. So it's kind of hard to wear it. And my What's not very often? Jiggle, but like, uh, like I've how worn often it is not often? Twice. I think I've worn okay. it twice. And once was around my apartment. So okay. I didn't really get <laughs> just, just oh, in okay. case, Just in case you were like yeah. heading to the door to grab some, uh, like an Amazon package or something and you need a little And swing. needed a, a quick drink before yeah. I got back to my apartment. Yeah. Uh-huh, okay. uh-huh. That's yeah. not a problem. Not, not who's yep. nodding like, mm, I keep a bottle by the door. <laughs> No, I almost bottle. married. I almost married a Scottish man once, and he also had a hip flask that he took like everywhere we went. <laughs> the reason that there was actually just whiskey in that flask is because I'd filled up on Saturday before going out, then ended up at like uh, a after party of a play where the bar was free, uh, and got so drunk I vomited everywhere, uh, oh. breaking a, breaking a ten year streak of no vomit. Oh, yeah, that's like so ever. Bad. Yeah, like ten years since since I last since I last puked on. I know I know my limits. I've got a fucking strong stomach. I'm practiced. I know what I'm doing. But free bar is a is, is like a mouse yeah. trap. Sometimes That's I throw it. up just so I can drink more. Like just just a nice little <laughs> reset button. <laughs> okay, Kaylin. After we finish the stream, can we, we have, have a conversation? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can you speak to me we're, after we're, class? We're so concerned. <laughs> Um, it's not a problem. John, I'm actually had, really good at it. <laughs> I recently had the exact same experience. Weirdly, I just like went to go see fucking Pearl with one of my friends. And then we went around the corner to like one of my local like bars. And this was like on a weekday because I work on the weekends. Um, so there was nobody in the bar and the bartenders were so bored that they were like giving us free tequila shots all night. Oh, it was oh. tequila. That's what it was. <laughs> So tequila. Tequila. Oh, God. what it was, it was um free bar. Strike one against me being uh-huh. good. Strike two <laughs> was that I had a Dutch friend visiting I hadn't seen in five years. So he was like, get all the drinks, get them all and put them in your mouth. Uh was like, and, let's go. Yeah. And strike three was that was the night I hit 25k subscribers. So oh. there was also a bunch of champagne and lots of other stuff. And, and it was just it was a maelstrom of like bad uh, champagne and tequila is never gonna yeah. end well <laughs> yeah, that, that is a bad combination that is some, like, like oh yeah i've got some tequila in my stomach <laughs> how have you made it fizzy? <laughs> <laughs> i'm like we uh, could bring that onto shark tank fizzy, fizzy tequila could be at the in canada it's called dragon's fizzy den tequila. but <laughs> fizzy tequila oh my god mm. I mean, we'd make a killing, and yeah. we'd probably also kill some people. Yes, <laughs> we, we would yeah. make a killing, and we would engage in said killing us. And well. we would kill. Yeah. We yeah. would we kill. Could, yeah, we could provide it to Tory Party Conference and see if we could finally destroy Thatcher's legacy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Perfect. listen, the people that we kill would just be like conservative college students, anyway, right? Like, yeah, and they're already on like the the sort of it'd be like fraternity bros. People. <laughs> yeah. It's like, is it murder if you're not technically oh. a person? Sorry, what is it? We got to like episode like what 21 now before we've 21. got explicitly genocidal. That's pretty far. <laughs> oh my god. That was, that was me that could come on and are we t- this. <laughs> Yay, thank I, you, I still John. don't that's know what it means, episode. but like, are we tankies now? Am I finally a tanky? 
Yeah, we've been like we've been like soft launching leftist politics on this podcast for like a while. Like we've been a little bit quiet about it, but this one we're like explicitly like, what if we just like poisoned a bunch of conservative twenty year olds? What if they never felt safe going to the dentist again? <laughs> uh, oh, I actually this is love a good this turn for us. I wasn't yeah, aware this is like that a good yeah. Didn't realize you were soft launching left leftist politics to this space. If I'd known, I wouldn't have burst through the wall like it, a fucking. <laughs> it's the Kool Aid Man of. <laughs> we go harder on our. We go hard on our YouTube channels, and we've been like, we've been like quietly implying it on this podcast. I don't think it was now that like quiet. Tanky. I don't think it was that quiet. Pretty, I mean, I think it's pretty obvious. There were a couple of points. We did. I mean, there was a point definitely in the on Ayn Rand uh, art, uh, podcast that I got like shit based, and I I definitely went on a rant for a little bit where I was listening back and I was like, oh, we are not. I mean, we're not getting any centrists listening to this podcast, are we? No, probably not. Did you get to the uh, Jean Paul Sartre <laughs> quote of about Ayn Rand? Um, where he, the John Paul Sartre said, the only mistake the Bolsheviks ever made was educating Iran. <laughs> I did not see that quote oh. when I was researching that one. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's so much that we aren't able to to pull up. Like, I know people want like the most comprehensive. Like, I mean, mm. it's not a video essay though. Like, I'm not going to tell you. About the entire like, these history. people want like, the most comprehensive. I don't know if they actually want the most comprehensive. Okay, I think no, they want they three want... mean queens tackling. <laughs> okay, what I should have yeah. said was people want to be able to comment and tell us what we forgot to mention. Um, yeah. Well, <laughs> and we I'm sure really that's excited. I'm sure that's super yeah. fun for them. I'm sure they love it. Yeah. I'm sure it makes them feel a heckin' valid. Um, but it does give me the impression that they want. Like yeah. a lot more content, but probably what they want is the ability to tell us that we forgot to mention something. Well, we we did about thirty minutes of actual Thatcher content and about an hour of everything else. The <laughs> sex episode. clown, so Mo- <laughs> mommy kings, and clown yeah. fucking. Have fun <laughs> editing this, Kaylin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you didn't mention Thatcher's economic policy and the run up to fuck off. Mm. She was. She was off. Uh, she was you the did, one. though. <laughs> we very briefly touched on it. <laughs> I, I said the word Reaganomics. I mean, uh, like, do we do we have, like, were we each supposed to have, like, a, a touchstone word that we were supposed to bring up? Toilet. She's a toilet yeah. now. We have That's to use take. a buzzword. <laughs> Again. I'm like, all everybody's talking. favorite, like, gender neutral toilet. That's the thing for her, right? Her and Reagan. Yeah. Girl boss toilet. Yeah. Just P- piss kink. Kissinger. P- piss kink. Where's Kissinger gonna go though? Like, right? Like, oh, anyway, I've like I called dibs on Kissinger before we <laughs> yeah. even started recording the podcast. <laughs> yeah. I was like, like when before... he dies, we're like, and it might be a six parter. It's like it legit yeah. might be like. All we produce for like three weeks. <laughs> because, the, the entire um, month that he dies, that will just be hoots for the yeah. entire month. I am, I am like, when he dies, if I'm scheduled to work, I am calling out of work. I am going and buying the nicest bottle of champagne I can like reasonably afford. And I'm going to get absolutely shit faced and just like, I don't know, spend the day tweeting my joy. Um, <laughs> he is one of the worst human beings who has ever lived. And, um, like, his evilness is, like, so underrated that I think that makes me, like, hate him even more. Like, mm-hmm. he really, he yeah, really well, if everybody else is hating cred. with you, it, it doesn't, the, the urge to be, like, a fucking full-on hater is so much less intense but like when i hear people like my mother will still say things like like oh i did my best but i'm not mother Teresa," and i'm like you didn't give babies aids that's, <laughs> that's a good thing like just having to rant like, about who like, yeah. these hateful fucking people because everybody else is sort mm-hmm. of like oh were they that bad it's a household name i don't really know much beyond that He's one where he still has like such establishment ties and like approval that like it, it's like whitewashed his legacy somewhat. He, God, he just sucks so hard, and I can't wait for him to die. He's so old. He's like a hundred years old. 
What's yeah. going on? There? He's got to go soon. Like, right? Like, any oh. day now. <laughs> I like how we're just no. vultures. Like, literally vultures. <laughs> just we are. circling, we're just waiting around. for these people to die. Solomon. Oh, I've, Dude, I've already claimed all the right turfs. Well, I'm just, like, sitting here, That's like, fair. like throwing yeah. my yeah. Kelly J. Keen, Posey Parker doll around the room. I mean, Magdalene Burns is already waiting for you. Okay. I don't, <laughs> chat probably knows who she is, but Magdalene mm-hmm. Burns is, like, one of the most vile anti-Semitic turfs. Um, and she died of cancer, and... That's Give it somehow... up for cancer. <laughs> <laughs> but it's been a struggle for cancer in the PR world. But <laughs> they are, like... you got you to hand it to them. <laughs> cancer. <laughs> Can we get a W in the chat for cancer? <laughs> or it would be like a C. Like a bunch of... <laughs> oh my god. There's some merch for you. Cancer. <laughs> oh, I hand it to them. <laughs> <sighs> the first live stream is going well. <laughs> so, so well. <laughs> We're getting some W's in the chat for cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. Anyways, what's, they like your, uh, they immortalized her because. She was a she turf died. and now she's dead. And it's like a martyr, but you didn't like <laughs> die for a cause, but you still get like all of the the clout <laughs> of dying for a cause. I mean, Sorry, I, I think like... that's why our podcast is brave and correct, because like we still <laughs> shit on people whose like You're legacies are correct. whitewashed by death. <laughs> Like, death has like this whitewashing effect on everyone. And it's like, no, actually. <laughs> Like we we shouldn't be we shouldn't be like whitewashing the legacy of this person just because cancer did us all a solid and took them the <laughs> fuck out in their mid thirties, right? I mean, well, at my funeral, I'm just gonna invite people who hated me just to make sure that doesn't happen, right? They're all just you. Know, <laughs> oh, that's are, good. Almost said a word that's again good. that I cannot say on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Are there rules? I just say whatever I want and then I mean, I just assume that the C word isn't uh, isn't one that you can say on YouTube. I just assume Wait, that which C word? Oh, for a second I was like yeah. cancer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't say cancer on YouTube. Yeah. I mean, a word um, that <laughs> A word that, that doesn't work in any of your accents, but works in mine. Oh. The misogynistic yeah. one. Oh, no. I can say it because I'm a woman. Cunt. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it, still, it still sounds I can wrong. also like, say it, but I'm not going to. Australians and Scottish people, because it's just like part of the grammar there. Like, uh, hate to break it to you, bestie, but it still sounds <laughs> wrong. It just sounds wrong and like kind of like magical. <laughs> Kind of <laughs> just like a, a beautiful Aww. magical slur that like maybe like a, <laughs> a, a like a little harry potter spell yeah <laughs> <laughs> well it's like you know fuck is like a comma in scotland yeah yeah i actually same for me yeah i was about to say same for me my roommate was was <laughs> once was like do you need to swear so much on this podcast <laughs> i'm like i'm not I doing it on purpose <laughs> Yes, you I do. Just I'm like, I've lost my train of thought. Myself. <laughs> I'll be like, uh, fucking, fuck it, fucking. Yeah, fuck, it's filler. Fuck, um, that guy, like, it's it, yeah, it's it literally. It is one hundred percent a filler word. Me. Yeah. Uh, by the way, there's something I just remembered that we kind of forgot to do this whole stream. Uh, there was a charity we were going to be shouting out uh, that John uh-huh. picked, and I just remember we did not talk about it this whole time. I'm going to put the link in the chat. Uh, for, for the them, milkless also... orphan charity, it's not a char- it's... <laughs> yeah. we're bad at this. Yeah. It's the IWGB Strike Fund. Uh, so they are they are a union that does uh, that deals with out- a lot of outsourced uh, migrant workers, um, workers who are in precarious positions directly due to Thatcher and Thatcher's legacy. Uh, so they do a lot of organising to make sure a lot of like cleaning staff, hospital staff uh, are are. Uh, unionized properly and are represented properly and the strike fund supports those staff who are on strike to make sure that they don't go hungry so Mm -hmm. that's i thought that was adequate for 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 a thatcher themed episode more than yeah Yeah. that's amazing Mm -hmm. very um 
a very thematically uh, important, like um, correct. the The attack on on strikers, strikers. That can't be right. <laughs> the, the attack on workers on strike. It always came across as like so fucking petty. Um, mm-hmm. I, yeah. I can't remember who we were talking about. There was one episode where somebody was attacking people who were on strike who didn't even work for them. Like, Wasn't it uh, just, Henry like, Ford? Was it? I think so. I think that was Hoots episode. Yeah. Yeah. It was. It So it was, it was like unemployed people striking during the Great Depression. Mm-hmm. So they those, were just like those doing Those pieces work, of basically. fucking shit. Yeah. <laughs> it was literally like unemployed people in the early 30s, um, unemployed auto workers specifically, doing like a peaceful march throughout the city of Detroit because that's where all of the um, auto manufacturers were. And <laughs> Henry Ford, who again, like they didn't even necessarily, I mean, none of them worked for Henry Ford at the time because they were all unemployed, but like not even all of them were necessarily his former workers. Uh, Henry Ford was like, no, this will not do. <laughs> and he sent his private fucking police force to throw them off of a bridge. Like, the the level of cartoon evil, like, on, like the scale of evil is, like, bad yeah. person, goodish person who does some really horrible things, and then, like, way over here is, like, literally, like, mustache twirling Evil, like number one, throwing someone off a bridge is mm-hmm. it's like a bonkers not thing. Cool. To do. Not, not cool. cool. No, it's not cool. Not cool. It's not, it's not a cool vibe. thing to yeah. do. Bad vibes. Yeah. Yeah. But like, bad vibes. Yeah. Horrible vibes. But if yeah, you like, are gonna throw someone to off a bridge, it. they should actually work for you, so you own them. <laughs> like it should actually be your property. You shouldn't just be like throwing Again. random people off of bridges. Right. It's like Thatcher stealing milk where like at a certain point it's like, oh, I just think that like uh, they realized at a certain point that their brand is evil and they're like, I've got to do something really evil yeah. to get my name in the newspapers being evil because <laughs> this well, is my thing. Thatcher mm-hmm. had things with the police as well. Like the police would burst into like striking minors houses and arrest them in their sleep and like drag Jesus. them off to court on like conspiracy charges and shit like that. Um, like, which should be illegal. Like busting no. into somebody's house in the middle of the night should just it was not illegal. Be a Who's gonna it was, it was illegal at that time. Like mm-hmm. none of that was legal. They just they did it, and a lot of them like they that's why it. a lot of them ended up getting out like after a few days. But it was one of those things that like if there's a strike coming up, you can arrest the leaders of the strike for a few days, and uh, and you know this maybe the strike will get called off. They won't go to jail because this is illegal. But you'll but you know fuck them. Um, yeah. Or like the sort of I mean, fervor ar- against arresting the strikers should be illegal. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just yeah. In but general? arresting strikers in the middle of the night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the the fervor against the miners got so bad that the Sun newspaper that it didn't get this headline published, but uh, it was going to publish a photo of the the leader of the union doing uh, doing a Hitler salute and comparing him to Hitler. Uh, and that didn't get through publication, but like that was a that was the tone of the right wing at that time is that these people are are worse than Hitler, the miners. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> like wow. wanting wanting like decent labor conditions is basically the same thing as <laughs> killing six million Jews. I mean the the, the it's like, like the, it's super the same picture part. meme. <laughs> Let's see if I can I'll see if I can find it. Uh, Mandy, on the difference. It's just like, and it's, just like <laughs> it's a picture of a labor organizer and a picture of Auschwitz. <laughs> They're just like it's the same picture. Yeah, it was a, it was uh the headline said Mein Führer and was a picture of Arthur Scargill at a strike, like who happened to have his hands raised at that time, uh, and l- that that didn't get past uh, editorial <laughs> at the end of the editorial uh, process but mm. you know the sun being another one of the comically evil bunch were, we're pretty keen, oh, on, yeah. keen on that yeah is that rag is the sun in every country like owned by the same like media conglomerate because the sun in toronto is also 
but, garbage. Uh, Every son I've heard of is like is it, the is far right owned. rag. Oh, are they all? You're in the Commonwealth. Well, I don't know if they are, they are all, but the, the one in the UK is Murdoch owned anyway. Uh, who himself, fan of Thatcher, another piece of shit who were just waiting to die. Murdoch is such a piece of shit. Rupert yeah. Murdoch, Toronto son. Yep. Yeah. Um. But back, at, I, I, we we're talking the psych, like the psychosexual note again. If you want some horrible facts about Trump, or or reported Always. facts about Trump, Always. was that apparently when Theresa May was prime minister, he wanted to recreate the kind of relationship that Reagan and Thatcher had, which was always like kind of weirdly close. And you know that that yeah. that thing where Trump is holding, trying to hold Theresa May's hand, uh, and it's like the most awkward <laughs> footage that oh you've ever God, seen. No. Yeah. Apparently that was him trying oh, to no. cultivate that weird sort of relationship for him. Oh my because God. Because he wanted to be the He's new Reagan. Standing. Oh, He's standing. He's no, standing. Baby. That's so embarrassing. It really is. Yeah. Unfortunately, and for you... him, Theresa May is a robot, so does not yeah. know how to how to interact <laughs> with humans on any level. Or Trump <laughs> just does not compute. Mm. So, in YouTube terms, he was like, "I'm gonna use some bisexual lighting on this shit," and Theresa May <laughs> was like, "I'm not going to appear on camera." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Theresa uh, Theresa May was like if a cat had stepped on a keyboard and just like <laughs> <laughs> button mashing. Oh no! Chad the psycho like... melodrama of the elite. Yeah, I don't know if I want to like. I'm okay with the whole sex clown thing, but I'm not okay with like a sex politician. I'm like. That's yeah. where I, that's no. where I draw the line. <laughs> I think um, in in the years to come, we're gonna look back on how horny everybody was for Obama with like um, a, a, through a different lens. Yeah, I think he was able was to get away years. with a lot oh, of shit. Oh. He was able to get away with a lot of shit because he was like moderately handsome. Um, mm. I saw a lot of fanfic. Of him and Justin Trudeau. Yeah. I didn't read it um, because I don't read. Uh, but. Oh, God, Justin Trudeau, same thing. Justin yeah. Trudeau is what? like pretty handsome. And therefore, people are like, well, is he really so bad? Is he really he so looks. bad? Look at that fucking bubble butt. <laughs> it's like, well. That jawline <laughs> makes him an ally, I think. Same. He does have a bubble butt. <laughs> and it, it listen, everyone, get on my level. I, do, I, I, I lose my mind every time I think about Justin Trudeau because he blacked up his knees. Like, when he was blacking up, he, he did it to such an extent that his ripped jeans, he blacked up his knees mm. through the ripped jeans. I never, and like, I never attention knew that. To detail. Yeah. It's just attention to detail. It's just attention to detail. The kind of attention to detail you'd want in a leader. Yeah. <laughs> if, yeah. if it wasn't only for doing blackface and needs. Welcome back to Respect the Dead, the episode <laughs> where we love Justin Trudeau. <laughs> Ooh. I, I should guess, do, I should like, do his circling, daddy sometime. Circling back to my horniness for child murderer clown Pennywise, um, I guess, like, never left. what I want the public, <laughs> what I want the public to understand is, like, you can... You can want to fuck someone who's a bad person and you can still admit that they're a bad person. <laughs> like... Oh yeah. I'm I like I have no like it wouldn't be like a sweet tender night between Justin Trudeau and I. <laughs> like <laughs> hate fucking is very like, you real. Don't have to... <laughs> hate fucking is you, valid. You don't, have to... <laughs> you don't have to overlook the literal hate crimes because you want to sit on his face. <laughs> on his very handsome face. I, I, I feel like Hoots played a trick on us there because by saying that, you tricked us into tacitly accepting your murder clown. <laughs> it's like going back to my uh, my my love of the bulbous, the bulbous headed clown freak. It's okay <laughs> to have sex with someone you politically disagree with. <laughs> um. Well, okay. Number one, I, it explains you know itself. That I politically disagree head. with murdering children. 
<laughs> what if they're orphans? I'm like I'm the I'm the three drinks in. Wait, hang on. I'm trying to think. No member of the Losers Club was an orphan, so is it's okay to murder nerds. <laughs> okay, the uh, Losers uh, Club is good. Had. Like, is, is that what they were called in it? Yeah, they're okay. called the Losers Club. Can we still? I'm all a Stephen King, you guys. <laughs> I, I like, why don't we have a club name? I thought we were the Witches of Stitcher. It's called Respect the Dead. Oh, yeah. Where is, where's the word club in that? Can somebody point to the word club in that? Because I'm not I mean, seeing it. Do we have to? We can the it ha- yes, Mandy, it has to say club. <laughs> to specifically have the word we're Literally the fucking weird sisters from Macbeth. Oh my god. Okay, so Neil once said that I was low culture, which I didn't bother Googling because it sounded rude and true. Yeah. The, wait, Alice. <laughs> true. Fuck, wait, sorry. That's Neil Farrell of the liberal cook. Yes. Fucking drag them. <laughs> the leftist cooks. It's now the leftist cooks. Oh, it's the leftist cooks sorry. now. Yeah. Um, sorry, just dead name to their channel. <laughs> <laughs> um, because I quoted something as being from a Harriet the Spy, and Neil was like, "That's Oscar Wilde." <laughs> um, and I thought the Weird Sisters was from uh, the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, the Netflix show, but apparently it's from Macbeth. <laughs> I mean, they it, they are in there, that, are, but they're wishes. they're a reference to. The witches in Macbeth are Macbeth calls them the weird sisters at one point. Oh, we're getting club names. Hungry Worm Club, no. Weird Clown sisters Suckers from club, Macbeth no. Club, no. <laughs> Just like saying no. The Try harder and club. be better. Sorry, Vince Whitaker. I'm not an orphan. I have a mom and a dad. Oh, two parents. <laughs> okay, braggadoche. <Wow. laughs> Look at me. And they're together. And. A they're still married. And I was a shotgun baby. Canceled. They listen to this too. So I'm fucking dragging them. I was a shotgun wedding. Uh, and they were hoots. pregnant with me when they got married. <laughs> but they're still together. So it worked out. It took me like a second there to remember what shotgun baby was. And I, I was like, it's <laughs> like you're fired out. Like, quickly. <laughs> 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 And, and fly across the room. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. That's okay. If you touch Actually, it, the it's opposite. yours. The opposite. I didn't want to come out. Uh, so after like an, a day of labor, they, they finally C-sectioned me. So I had a very smooth skull as a baby. Hey, I was a C-section too. I think that's why I'm gay. Oh my God. Are we the C-section club? Wait, does that section <laughs> make, make you gay? I'm a C-section too, actually. Yes. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> um, and this is C-section great. C-section makes you gay. Because cesarean... Yeah. Is often spelled C A E S, which is like the case. Oh, I'm super like into this. Oh, I was look a at that. Funny baby. You were a what? You baby? were a what baby? I was a fanny baby. The fanny baby. <laughs> oh, fanny baby! You came out through the through the sacred yeah. passage through the proper yeah. hole. I, I feel like right? <laughs> through God's secret door. <laughs> <laughs> Not God's secret door. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord's atrium. <laughs> oh my God! Well, now oh. we know, now we know which one of us had a pointy ass skull as a little baby. <laughs> I, I, um, a hairdresser in Glasgow once told me I had a weird shaped crown after he gave me a haircut. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what, I don't know what, what you want me to do with this information. Like, were you like, oh, this, this, guy, this guy has too few insecurities. So let's like, let's like see if he can get worried about the shape of his head that literally no one can ever see. Like, he saw all eight feet of you walk into his office. He was like, I'm going to fucking punch this up. <laughs> Um, costume codex in the chat just said, so the three witches were from their mother's untimely ripped. And I'm like, oh, this sounds so badass. From their mother's untimely ripped. Untimely ripped. It's, I mean, it's true. That, okay, this. also, can we just say, like, what, what a fucking bullshit twist at the end of Macbeth, right? Like, so... 
Kaylin, this one's for you. <laughs> <laughs> Was the twist that they were witches? <laughs> no, in Macbeth, the three witches are like, um, Macbeth, you're not gonna, like, no man of woman born can kill you. So, like, Macbeth is, like, fucking solid. Like, so no man is gonna kill me. Um, and then, like, he's fighting with Macduff, and Macduff is, Macduff is like, guess what, bitch? I was born by a cesarean. <laughs> <laughs> um, but stabs that's... him. <laughs> oh, okay, number one, I love witches. I love, <laughs> witches are, like, people that leave YouTube they comments. They are funny. The level of, like, pedantry is, like, <laughs> off the fucking <laughs> charts. But also, I've always said the same thing, too, that I was never born. Um, YouTube, you were from your mother's womb on timely rib. Yeah. A- I mean, I was pretty timely ripped. Uh, it was scheduled. It wasn't like an emergency or anything. She was oh, just like, nice. ew, I'm not doing that. Like, I don't think what, mine was an emergency, but mine was the, she's, she, she spent like a day in labor. So let's just like get this thing out. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay. I was like crawling back up in there. Like I'm not coming out. <laughs> Using the umbilical cord, <laughs> like climbing it like a gym class. I will. I'll do it. I'll fucking hang myself. I'll, I'll do it. I'll kill myself. You. <laughs> oh my like god! You know, make an eye contact with the doctor. It's like I'll fucking do it. I'll fucking do it. <laughs> Don't you like fuck that. up. Don't you fucking Go tell her I'm my good. mom's cervix. <laughs> yeah, we need he to like stop st- talking about like- Nancy's <laughs> cervix on the podcast. Please. My mom is like 10 centimeters dilated. <laughs> so I'm like making a direct eye contact. With the <laughs> Those beautiful blue eyes, just like you shut your fucking mouth. I'm not, I'm not fucking out. doing this. It's nice of you. <laughs> Um, I got a sofa. I got fucking digital <laughs> TV. I got it's this so sweet ass cord. <laughs> they, they have Netflix here. That's not going to be invented for some years. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you can say it. You were going to say 30 years and you're fucking right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. JK, I'm 33. I'm not that old. Um... Somebody just renamed our podcast Cummies, Dummies, and Mummies. And I'm like, no, <laughs> I'm kind of oh, super here for this. No, fuck not. <laughs> no, it's pretty great. What are we getting out of the closet? Oh, also, thank you for liking my dress, Beethoven Junkie. <laughs> I love this dress. It has pockets. That's very, not to be rude. That's very Karen Kilgariff. Um, oh, is it? I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you don't need to apologize. She does. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can hear her screaming from the kitchen. <laughs> I just heard, I couldn't even hear if there was a word. I just heard like a pterodactyl screech coming. We are always here for dragging the girls from my favorite murder um, because they are so lazy and so rich. And What's we're this? jealous. My Favorite Murder is a comedy podcast that popularized laughing at women being murdered. Um, Mm. And one of their bits is that they basically just don't really do any research. Um, And then every episode after the previous episode, they have to basically apologize for everything they got wrong and everyone they offended. (laughs) My Favorite Murder is like everything that is wrong about white women. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> it, it is it is pure girl bossery. Like they, yes. the feminism that comes off of that is like, it's like if feminism was repackaged by like, like every word I want to say right here is a slur, so I'll just leave it. I am <laughs> Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> nah. It's just it's so yeah. uncomfy the way that they congratulate themselves on how woke they are when they're like. They're like, so then he cut up that prostitute and the other one like starts cackling and it's like, okay, I love that. This is, co- this is definitely content. These women's deaths are yeah. definitely content. Anyways, I listened yeah. to it for two years and went to one of their live shows. They're pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I used, I, yeah, I haven't listened to it in a very right. long time, but I used to listen to it. <laughs> Someone in chat said homeopathic feminism. 
Oh. Homeopathic feminism. <laughs> There's no real <laughs> feminism left in it. It's oh, just been distilled pog down. Oh, you weren't so... lying. Oh my god. Pog it actually says, says pog. It actually Something says pog. Okay. Chill okay. to the bone for some <laughs> reason. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. John, aren't you Gen Z? Shouldn't you like this? Or are you still a millennial? I think I'm still I'm still on the lower end of millennial. Mate, yeah. how old are you? All right. Right. Oh no. I'm always the oldest person in the room now. I don't I don't care for this. <laughs> Wait, how old are you? Uh 30? <laughs> Sorry. That was not convincing. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm going like to I'm going to whisper it long. so chat doesn't hear. <laughs> I'm 36. <laughs> My skin looks good because I was agoraphobic for so long that I didn't see the sun, so it's okay. I can like <laughs> I can pass. Yeah. <laughs> I can pass. Yeah. But swings and roundabouts, you know. My skin looks good cuz I'm a ginger, so I can't go into the sun. I mean, you could. I mean, it wouldn't end well, but like yeah, I'm covered in moles. I would I would oh, get yeah. cancer and then cancer would do us a solid and take me out. And I don't want that to happen. That's I don't want another W in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> what, which of you would do the Respect the Dead episode on Hoots? It would have, we'd have to be to joint. It together. Yeah. It'd have to be joint. Yeah. You'd have to oh. be joint. Yeah. Okay, so who's going to take my that. early life and who's going to who's going to take my early life and who's going to take my late life? I'm taking late life. Obviously, yeah, I'll take the early life. because Mandy yeah. has to talk to your parents to get the yeah. Get I'll the come. Info. I'll come early life. And I'll I just want to read out your like most most my worst tweets. tweets. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> sort of like we'll do for the Trump episode where we just sit there and read out his tweets and then cackle at how hilarious he is. <laughs> Listen, like, <laughs> I'm probably getting canceled over the Trump episode because my unpopular opinion is that he should be allowed back on Twitter. He was the best person at tweeting. He was like the best Twitter account. Hands down, happy 9 11 to all no. the haters and losers <laughs> is the all time greatest tweet anybody has ever quote. Part, like, I agree with you on, on, on the substance of that, but like, part of me just thinks, like, he's not allowed on Twitter unless he has an alt somewhere, which is also funny, just the concept of Trump alt. Um, <laughs> oh, God, I want to find his alt. Him it's just like being Gremlin. unable to tweet is so, and like writing out statements that are just as tweets is fucking hilarious. Like, <laughs> come here, come here, assistant. I've got to dictate a four hundred word tweet to you. <laughs> so that you can just respond to current events. It's uh, it's very good. I love Truth Social. Like, I'm not on it. Um, at first, I thought I was gonna create an account because um, because it's so funny. But then I was like, I don't. I don't have the patience for that. Um, but I love the idea that he's got like a bootleg Twitter because he's not allowed on Twitter. Yeah. He's got oh. like an anime avatar. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> not Trump's fucking pit crew. <laughs> <laughs> oh I just see God. him sitting Can there making me like, no, 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 more tan, more tan. Femboy Trump. <laughs> Fanboy Trump BTS fan. <laughs> oh my god, Just yes. Fanboy Trump, Trump. Posting he's a fucking... BTS fan. He's a cat boy. Let's see, this is what this is what the Macbeth uh, witches do. They just add more to the, the spell and just mix it <laughs> This could be us in. if magic was real. <laughs> And if J.K. Rowling didn't fucking sanitize it, this could be us. She ruined magic. She ruined magic. She literally ruined magic. She ruined women. Mm -hmm. She ruined, I guess, probably young adult <laughs> literature for, like, literally everyone. There is, like, mm -hmm. there are, like, 40-year-old homosexuals on Tinder who have their fucking house in their oh bio. And I'm like... You were not a Gryffindor. You were a fucking bottom. And you need to just like, <laughs> you need to just own that and like, and, and, and really be that instead. Like you were not, you were not a Hufflepuff. You were a cum slut. You, and like, that's yeah. okay. You are not. I'll make you, you a Hufflepuff. You are not a Slytherin. <laughs> you are not a Slytherin. Slytherin this dick. 
slither in your bed. Slither um, in this bussy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's it is it is very sad. You like you are not a Slytherin. You are not a Ravenclaw. You literally work at HR at like a a, a healthcare yeah. company. Like you are a, not a Hufflepuff. You, you literally you work at Lockheed Martin. You work at Kaiser Permanente. Yeah. Oh, Lockheed Martin. We are calling her him out. Oh, <laughs> adding that out of the live. Can it? Can I edit the live feed after this? Has been? Nope. <laughs> Okay, Slitherussy in the chat. Slither in these nuts. Slitherussy in the chat. Uh, si- okay. Slither. A few people have told me to go to go jail. Go to jail. Yeah, go to jail. <laughs> you're not a Hufflepuff. Well. <laughs> you're a cum slut. Is now <laughs> an official respect the I, dead quote. Like, I'm imagine really the sorting hat is just like, cum slut! <laughs> I'm really disappointed that the chat is so pro carceral carceral solutions, and I think we should ban them all. <laughs> they got that from me. I I am like I'm, I'm very anti carceral until uh, until I meet until- like somebody who's vaguely annoying, and then I'm like special jail just for you. Who who is the uh, person Clint, that means you not a police voice for? <laughs> There, there was, there was one episode where Galen was like, okay, I used to be a, a prison abolitionist, but not anymore. And I can't remember which episode it was, but it was so funny. Oh, I think it's me. Uh, I think it was me. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think it was, I think it was me like during my own episode. I think it was during fucking, um, uh, corpse fucker dude, Carl Tanzler. Oh, I was yeah. like. I believe oh in God. prison Carl. abolition for everybody yeah. except for this guy. <laughs> for this man, yeah. Uh-huh. Have yeah, you guys, people are saying yeah, it was Carl. Carl. Okay. Have you, have you guys done Jimmy Savile yet? No. Uh, no. No. Oh. no. We haven't gotten that dark yet, actually. Well, uh, I, Thatcher was close to Jimmy Savile. Uh, really? I didn't know this. Mm. Yeah, because, yeah, they... they, 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 they uh, she invited him to Downing Street a number of times. Uh, he was she was also very close to Prince Charles. So close they were. Um, he was an unofficial royal advisor for a number of years, advising Prince Charles on such problems as the Prince Andrew issue. Um, no. Yes. That's a that, very nice way to say that. Yeah. Well, I, at that time, it referred more uh, to his uh, his his marriage at that time than maybe necessarily anything that we have evidence for being anything else. And I'm using that as a disclaimer. Mm. Um, but yeah, they were they were all the establishment and Jimmy Savile were extremely close, Thatcher included. These people are always up. so interconnected, and like, Let's see. if you want to talk about. Like the elites gathering together to like protect each other and do shitty stuff. Like the people that are talking about this are usually like storming the basement oh of God. pizza parlors. But like, this is like just, actually happening. You're just facing the wrong fucking direction. Just do a quick Google Google image search of Savile and Thatcher, and you just get like images for days. Just mm. okay. I'm doing it now. Oh my God. Okay, well, stressing? everybody's Googling. Let me just bring up that costume codex. Uh, just said that the colors of the, the, the oh my god, the bottom house crest for Sorry. Hogwarts bottoms is white and brown. And I just this is why I'm bringing back Hogwarts a jail. Hogwarts bottoms is white and brown, is homophobic. <laughs> so, here from 18th July 2013, the year Thatcher died. BBC headline, Thatcher lobbied for Savile knighthood despite warnings. What? I just dropped an image in the chat that's like really unhinged. It's, There's a it's chat? Jimmy Savile. It's Jimmy Where- Savile looking like a fucking looking like a fucking pedophile. Where's the chat that you Oh, sorry. Like, I did it in the in the YouTube chat, but I'll do it in our um Oh, our well, I'm in the chat. Well. I just I don't see it. It's taking a second. Yeah, I would say I don't see it either for some reason. Well, maybe it doesn't show up in the YouTube chat. Maybe yeah, when I, you know maybe what? It's, um, it's a URL. In, so uh, that might have been a thing. Can you send something that's not a URL so I can make you a, a 
He said it in the Zencaster chat, and then we... oh, it's right there. I did. Yeah, you did. Sorry. Oh, oh yeah, there they are. Senior civil servants ah, repeatedly warned fuck? Margaret Thatcher about the risk of giving Jimmy Savile a knighthood in the 1980s. One describing the broadcaster as a quote strange and complex man. Complex? Mm. complex. That is what they always say about um, mm. sex criminals. Is like he's mm. complicated. He's so complicated. Yeah. Uh, Woody Allen is just really complicated. He's got a complicated uh, relationship with his with his daughters. Oh have I God. actually dibs Woody Allen? Because I would like to dibs Woody Allen if I haven't yet. <laughs> Please dibs Woody Allen. Woody Allen is one of those ones where I'm like, oh, I feel so validated in the fact that I never found his comedy really funny. Right. Found it creepy <laughs> and weird. And I'm like, oh, so he, he just is creepy and weird? Great. Sorry, I was just reading this horrible article. I'm going to stop doing that now. <laughs> <laughs> Get away from that. <laughs> was, it about, was it about Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy Fallon-ing all over the place? J mm -hmm. uh, Jimmy Savile. Jimmy Savile. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. No, that, that's definitely that's libel. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was a Freudian slip based I was on about to uh, say. Hollywood gossip. <laughs> yeah. We here at Respect the Dead do not necessarily condone all, all <laughs> allegations made. I do. Against every Jimmy allegation. Fallon. I'm behind every <laughs> allegation. If you tell me a man did something, I believe you. All I'm going to say is I'm not going to say anything about Jimmy Fallon until the allegations come out. <laughs> the bodies are friends. <laughs> well, usually we just wait until someone's dead anyway, so. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we kind so of like need to his body and all the other bodies are found. Because there's so many people I want to cover and I'm like, I don't know, I, they look way healthier than me. Like, <laughs> J.K. Rowling, like, clearly has like a personal trainer and like has access to like really good medical facilities she, whereas like i yeah. neither she whereas we have a Thatcher's we all, <laughs> we all she's, live. she's got some orphan blood in like an intravenous like uh, vein every day <laughs> whereas the three of us like hover around the poverty line and we also have a podcast where we drink an entire bottle of wine every time we go to record so like or whiskey we're in danger <laughs> oh yeah but so i do I, I get tested every three months and they do check like on my uh, something about my liver. I don't know anything about her, but apparently like prep can destroy your liver. Um, so they have oh, to no. test it. And they're like, we noticed like, like it wasn't, it wasn't functioning like so well. How much do you drink a week? And I'm like, what do you mean? Like how many nights? Like two. And they're like, no, like how many drinks? How many like, units? I'm like, I don't know. Like two bottles of wine <laughs> they're like okay well you you should really just have like one spread out over the week or none and i'm like i don't i don't understand no. what you mean number one I, no first of all i'm a content creator and that <laughs> is like hate speech against content creator first of yeah. all i'm an influencer <laughs> people come to my live streams to watch me drink a bottle of wine plus and mm. get increasingly mad about bullshit. Like, are you coming after my income? Yeah. yeah. How am I supposed to pay my rent if I don't, like, destroy my liver twice a week? I, um, I have a, a friend who, uh, he did a study abroad in San Diego and got caught having a party, like, when he was 20. And everyone left and it was just him and, like, 19 handles of vodka. And they were like, is this all yours? And he went... Yeah, yeah, sure. And they sent, <laughs> yes, now. They sent him to a psychologist for alcoholism. <laughs> and, and he was like, yeah, this, this person was clearly just out of university. He was like two years older than me and kept asking about my relationship with my father. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like, and she had a chart, apparently. It was like, how much do you drink a night? Um, like, and he was like, oh, I don't know, it depends on the night. It's like, well, how many drinks? He's like, well, are you talking shots or, like, bottles of wine or what? She's like, just how many, like, vodkas and cokes? He's like, I don't know, if I'm, like, up for it, about 12? 
and she circled a thing that just said death zone. <laughs> <laughs> death, death zone. Death zone. Yeah. That sounds like kind of metal, though. Defense, in your friend's defense, <laughs> we need to grade on a curve for British people. That's fair. <laughs> like, I mean, That's not to blame zone. any stereotypes, but like, we're Scottish. Like, that we... stereotype is fucking true. It's respect we, the jet. Look, stereotypes are very okay here. We are, so, we are each of us a stereotype. It's so far north. The the winters are so dark. Like, what else are you gonna do? <laughs> oh, like same thing. Like my cousins, my cousins from Finland and I have only like hung out like a couple of times. But like one of the times, like we bonded over talking about booze because like for a straight three months of the year there, there's like nothing else to do but just get like shit faced on your couch wearing no pants. Like, That's all right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, speaking that of, is a, a culture. we were named the Death Zone Club by chat. Um, and oh, I, I like that. The death, <laughs> the death Zone. Welcome to the Death Zone, you I'm little in. fucking worms. Yeah, it's fucking metal. Like, I know, I am actually, yeah. especially Hoot's calling them worms, too. This is perfect. Mm. Yeah. Our followers are our worms, we're witches, and we're in the death zone. Yeah. This is luckily, this is luckily you're not a Tory, otherwise that would be like Margaret Thatcher and Tory politician energy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> the death zone would be like, well, this is where we need to get like social services to the point where like all of the undesirables die off. There, there's a <laughs> web sketch about that where, where one of the, a Tory politician just says, Have we tried just killing all the poor? Like, see if that works. <laughs> I mean, like, it's what they want. <laughs> nobody, nobody get mad at me. I'm just bringing it up. No stupid questions. Am I right? Yeah. What if this we just... killed them all? Blue sky thinking. <laughs> Solutioneering. <laughs> <laughs> Solutioneering. Oh God, no. Welcome to Blue Sky Solution Solutioneering the podcast. What if we killed all the pores? What if we just <laughs> not to not to fucking like drag it back to LA politics again for the second time in the fucking episode? But like, I have Do spoken it. to so many people around here again with like D's next to their names who have been like, "I've got a solution for the homelessness problem, oh but you don't want to hear it." And I'm like, "What's the solution?" And they're like, you "Is don't it a know. final <laughs> solution, buddy?" Yes. Will we need one after it, or would this be final? <laughs> Yeah, and it's like <laughs> it's literally like people with like a fucking coexist bumper sticker. Who are like, <laughs> I know, we should, yeah, right. Look, I'm the most, I'm my the child most is in my backyard. I'm the most liberal person you'll ever meet. <laughs> I, but but just kill all the poor. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. It's like That's all I'm saying. I, it's not even Gas like the tent, uh, sweaty. <laughs> oh, we would have no. voted for Obama a third time, but also yeah. have we considered killing all the poor people? I would have voted for Obama a third time. Uh, <laughs> That's good. Wait. Oh. Wait, I still Kaylin, have from, you seen uh, Get, get out? out? Yeah, <laughs> but, <laughs> but I was on drugs. Well, I don't know. Oh, are you always on drugs? <laughs> yeah, I was like, was. Like, Kaylin being like, <laughs> <laughs> not Kaylin being like, that's so good. That should be in a movie. <laughs> yeah, that was my first thought. Being like, I'm like, yes, yes, it should be. <laughs> I'm like, put that in one of your videos, Meandy. Oh, I will. Be <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Not for we white people talking about get out. <laughs> <laughs> I would have I'm barely get talking out about get out. Time. <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> I would I would have watched get out a fourth time. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Oh, I still haven't seen the new one he just did. Uh nope. I haven't seen that nope. one yet. Nope yeah, is really good. good. Nope. Is I want to see that. Yeah. Yeah. I need I need to get a hold of that. Oh yeah, in a totally legal fashion. Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Pay the fifteen dollars, Mandy. Give <laughs> Jordan Peele your money. <laughs> you don't even have to go if you don't if you don't want to risk going to the theater. I'll pirate it for you. I didn't say this online. Um, and, and send it to you, but you have to Jordan buy the. <laughs> Yeah, you have to buy the ticket online. You just don't go. It's fine. I just don't go. I mean, SWAT is about to smash through Kaylin's 
<laughs> oh, no. oh no, not Canadian SWAT. <laughs> just like a like motherfucking horse. horse. Through the window. <laughs> just a horse being oh thrown God. through my window. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> fucking <Christmas> mounties <laughs> a, a horse trying to hold a gun like. <laughs> that is our literally the same <laughs> the same six guys who stuck a gun in Castle's face a couple of weeks ago no oh, not no. them oh I just started fucking crying at that image of the horse trying to <laughs> <laughs> those stupid little Maybe. hooves <laughs> Not Mandy, just saying nay. Like, mm, nay. <laughs> sidekick said, us. sidekick 42 said, horse girl cops. <laughs> and I would like to posit, I would like to posit that all oh female cops are horse girls. <laughs> <laughs> are. No, oh horse God. girls are definitely cops. Oh, 100% in every aspect oh, of their they life. They're, they're, they're the they kind of people that will like... Uh, Tell this your is my horse, Sebastian, and I tell him everything. <laughs> Sebastian! <laughs> <He's my best> <laughs> friend. <laughs> I also tell the cops everything. <laughs> <laughs> this is my horse, Sebastian. I tell him everything, and he's wearing a wire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <clears throat> oh, my God. <sighs> In my goddamn mind. <laughs> the fact that the horse's name was Sebastian just made it all the more believable. <laughs> oh my god. Wait. Uh, the costume codex wrote a, an acronym that is A F C A H G. What is that? All horse girls are bastards. <laughs> I got, so Silver Samaritan did A H G A B, yeah. which is all horse girls are bastards. But what the fuck is A F C A H G? All, all fucking cops are horse girls. Cops is that it? Oh, wait, all female cops are horse girls. Um, all female cops. There you go. All Did you horse ever girls see? are bastards. Oh my God. There is an incredible uh, piece of footage from the. Uh, there was a bunch of like protests a few years ago um, against the new police courts crime and sentencing bill in the UK, which was coincided with uh, a police officer who murdered a woman. And there is uh, part of what happened during those protests was the police charged the protesters on horseback, and one of the police got knocked off their horse by hitting like a bar like this and just sort of went <laughs> I love it got fucking cold clothes line <laughs> yeah, got, that's uh, amazing it was like a traffic light or something and it's just oh it that's amazing I'm obsessed, obsessed. Yeah. Uh, that's awesome um, I was also was that um, what's her face that got killed was that a protest against what's her face that got killed uh, it was Sarah, that... Sarah Everins who was murdered yeah. by the police yeah and that uh, cop murder it's so crazy when you like look Not into what's like her face so many murderers. Kills. What's your? There's so <laughs> many people that have been killed specifically by cops, and that was like my point. Is like it's so crazy. Like you always hear these stories, like woman gets murdered, and then you look into it, and it's like, oh, he was a retired policeman. Every single mm-hmm. fucking time. Yeah. Well, this was an active police officer who who did it yeah. uh, for Sarah Everett, and then the police. <laughs> broke uh violently broke up the vigil that um oh yeah uh, a bunch organized. of women putting down candles and flowers well yeah. we, dangerous to stop to that <laughs> you can't have that <laughs> those that. can those candles could light something on fire i mean yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then, um, also, uh, <laughs> uh, Costume Codex also said, uh, you know, she trains Sebastian to eat evidence. <laughs> oh, my God. That's smart. No, that would be if she was a fucking ally. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I'm no, Sebastian, not the tape. Sebastian. No, no. <laughs> like, I, I usually probably don't want to kill horses, but I'm now I'm now getting like really bad vibes from Sebastian. Especially yeah. because it's not like Sebastian, it's like Sebastian, and I'm like, you sound like you play lacrosse, which means I can't trust you. Yeah, I, <laughs> I think I Sebast- I th- Sebastian is always spelled like that, right? It's not spelled with a ch. No, but like the pronunciation, like when some, yeah. when you're like, oh hey Sebastian, and he's like, it's actually Sebast. 
Tien. It's very yeah, it's like, like my name's actually Macaulay, not Michaela. It's like, it's like um, okay, I speak English. Peoples. When you get like posh people, like the most homophobic way they pronounce homosexual is when they go homosexual. And you're like, oh, oh, I love person, I, you hear the homo. I do. Love Kaylin love and I, ha- I like very that. recently had a conversation about this because we were, we were watching a bunch of like old footage from like the 70s and 80s and yeah, like fun. hearing like journalists say the homosexuals. <laughs> <laughs> Just like <laughs> that is now like my kink. I love it. The homosexuals. <laughs> It's it's yeah, very it's nature sexual. documentary. I also love I, the homosexual. Homosexual. Always homosexual. It just feels like I'm about to be hate crimes. Like it's not good. <laughs> it's, as so. as somebody with extensive personal research into that, that is exactly how it happens. Someone's <laughs> like a oh, homosexual, and then then the criming then. starts. They're like, mm-hmm. you look like you've had a dick in your mouth. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> <Let's bash> you. <laughs> oh no, you got me. <laughs> Hi, you got me. <laughs> Anyways, Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> Margaret Thatcher. Uh, was there oh, anything wait, else? How did Margaret she die Thatcher? again? How did yeah, she die? Yeah, I want to know how she yeah. died. She had a stroke. Okay, but <laughs> after she had a stroke, how long until she died? Actually, no. Let's was there like it. a couple of weeks of her being like? I don't think so. I think she was. I think it was. I think it was unfortunately quite quick. Ugh. That show. I was really yeah. hoping she had like a really mean nurse who had like a milkless child who took some stuff out on her. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! And I was a... like, guess who's not getting delauded today? Chat just said stroke D's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't mean anything, but I love it. That's um, amazing, though. Okay, so, int- <laughs> so first of all, uh, she died in the fucking like Ritz Hotel in London. Fuck off. Like, oh, God all damn the it. worst people stay at the Ritz. Yeah, <laughs> Didn't oh, Boise... I'm just going to be more of a fucking stereotype. Get a grip. Um, and she died on the 17th of April, which is a couple months earlier than that BBC article about her and Jimmy Savile was produced, which is interesting. Uh, seems like maybe they were holding off on publishing that until after she was dead. Not saying the BBC is a biased organization. Of course uh, not. We would never up. say that. No, no. Would we never. would never say that. No, no, no. Never say no. such a thing. I would never, never suggest ever. that the BBC hold stories to cover up Sorry. the misdeeds of the powerful until after their death. Unrelated to anything else going on here, I'm just going to Google BBC trans for a second. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, oh, sorry. BBC transgender. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, you know something's going on when they say the whole goddamn word too. When they say the whole word. I forgot they're not in the community, so they'll say transgender. Kind of like homosexuals. Yeah, the only people that say transgender or homosexuals are gender critical people. Like Imagine no- saying homosexuals. Homosexual. Like, that's actually I actually weird. I mean I kind of like it. Emperor. <laughs> To like, if somebody's like, oh, do you have a girlfriend? It's like, no, I'm a homosexual. Obviously, this wouldn't I'm happen to me. I'm a homosexual. <laughs> this wouldn't happen to me personally, but there are homosexuals who are not, um, this. Uh, <laughs> that have to be, <laughs> that have to come out to people and aren't just like people across the street, like, hey, there's one. Sorry. Somebody, somebody who says I'm a homosexual also like, would say like bisexual is like a transition to gay in the same way that a pescatarian mm. is a transition to vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> in the UK, if someone yeah. called, if, if um, someone says they're a homosexual, they work for the civil service. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a homosexual. Yeah, emphasis on um, the second. I'm not, one of, I'm not one of those weird ones. I'm just, I'm just no. normal. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a normal homosexual. Yeah, I'm just I'm just one of those normal I'm, men who yeah, likes to I'm yeah, not one of those I'm, deviants. I'm a normal. I'm a normal. I wear a polo shirt. I just go home and I suck a man's dick every night. Yeah. I almost clapped. 
<laughs> I like. I felt like, like a really strong urge to be like, like, <laughs> like, yes, let her speak. <laughs> In that situation, I was imagining that I was like a bland white cis man. Um, I don't know if you you got it. Oh, I got it. I saw it. Yeah. Um, also, two With people at the polo exact shirt same tucked time. Into my khaki pants. Oh, all the way too, not just like a French tuck. <laughs> Like a full, a full. Oh, no, all the way. Yeah. What What is it if it isn't a French tuck? What kind of tuck is it's it? It's a when full it... tuck. It's a full it's tuck. tuck. No, I, I want full something. Tuck, like, I want something like. Nothing helping out my five foot eight frame. <laughs> a little um, jumper tied around, tied around your shoulders as well. Uh, oh, yeah. Like yeah. A loose yeah. Tie. yeah. Very country club. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. With uh-huh. a pop collar. Oh, With no, not the pop collars. collar, too. <laughs> Like an actually, like, yeah. I'm kind of into so, a pop collar. I'm a sicko. Not like on me, but like a man with a pop collar. I'm like, oh, you're nasty. I love it. Someone who like <laughs> drops into I do conversation. Like the po- the politicians yeah. that they've met. Like, oh yeah, I was just talking to Boris the other day. Boris Johnson, that is. And um... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know which Boris. Yeah. Boris. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> um. Okay. It is giving me man who will treat me like shit. <laughs> <laughs> we are rounding three hours uh, in 20 minutes. So if, oh, there's, are, yeah. if there's something, because I have to edit this. So that's where yeah. my concern comes in. Right. What's the most the actual stuff we episode get is going to be 40 minutes. minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If I cut out every, the Patreon version is going to be like five hours. And then the like the RSS version is going to be like 20 minutes we spent talking about Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. The 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 RSS version is every there's like twenty minutes of just not talking about Thatcher. It's, <laughs> it's just the, it's just the clown fucking part. Yeah. It's just gonna say <laughs> episode twenty one, <laughs> like, and then that's it. Yeah, we get so many comments and Instagram messages that are like, "Was this a mistake?" <laughs> <laughs> like, no, were you? <laughs> <laughs> Take that. Um. Yeah, well, this has been a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, any last minute, I don't know, Margaret Thatcher yeah. facts? What is, how do you sum up Margaret Thatcher for, yeah. like, how? How do you sum up the life of that fucking <laughs> fetid corpse? Yeah, write that, write the episode blurb Thatcher. for me so I don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> In my I mean, accent, like, there's no difference between fetid, like, F-E-T-I-D and fetid, like, F-E-T-T-E-D. So I want you to know that I meant F E T I D, fetid. Sorry, what was the other one? Fetid, like, F E T I D, and then F E T T E D, which is like celebrated, fetid. That's some fancy shit that I have not. I was not like proxy to. No one was like, oh, we fed it. Fetid. It's like supped. <laughs> we <laughs> like, fat. We fat. <laughs> oh, what were you doing last night? It's like, oh, we just supped. Like. Mm. <laughs> We supped a dick. <laughs> we supped a dick. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, sorry. John, is there a way to sum up our, our <laughs> Lady of Grace? Mar- Margaret A. Thatcher? <laughs> um, any current political problem that we are seeing right now in the UK can be traced one way or, or another back to Margaret Thatcher and the sort of policy proposals that she put forward. Not to be reductive on, like, because, you know, neoliberalism isn't just bad because it's neoliberalism, it's bad because it's capitalism. But the specific branch of how fucked we are comes from her. Yeah. That's it. She's shit. Glad she's dead. <laughs> I honestly didn't, I didn't yeah, know. Glad she's dead. I didn't know that she was queen or whatever before this episode. President, whatever, mayor <laughs> of England. She was <laughs> Queen Margaret the First. Well, the, the queen apparently hated her. Um, that is a thing I knew. I don't I know mean, why. I mean, good for the queen. This is I why mean, I have we complicated feelings. hate to see women tear each other down. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You hate to see it. Women should support women. <laughs> Just women supporting women. Like, 
Yeah. What else are you gonna do? We, we need I, girl like, bosses to come together and work. What girl is bosses feminism? come together is a shirt. <laughs> what um, is feminism except the hereditary sorry. monarch uh, <laughs> holding up the war criminal prime minister? Yes. Snap. Sorry. You can you can disagree with uh, Maggie. I, I call her Maggie because we're friends. Uh, you can disagree with Maggie taking the milk out of babies' mouths, uh, but you <laughs> siphoning not, it with the straw, <laughs> like ripping the nipple out of those infants' mouths. Um, <laughs> you can you can disagree with that. But you should support her because there are too many men trying to tear us down right now. We need to have solidarity amongst upper middle class white women. Um, yeah, and also if women yeah. ruled the world, then the world would be peaceful. Yeah, like there would be no walking shooting so people in the back. Argentina. <laughs> <laughs> because we are we're like <coughs> women are just like natural empaths <laughs> we're all like oh, oh kill me we're all empaths we're all every woman is a Pisces Pisces moon like we, we just like <laughs> feel each other and like more women in positions of power please uh... I totally support this um and, and actually, the war crime, because it was killing a bunch of men, was a feminist action. Yeah, there you go. Oh, it's absolutely. called fucking Praxis Sweaty. Yeah. Look uh, it up. She didn't care I that haven't. they were Argentinian. She cared that they were men. Yeah, and she was exactly. like, stop invading, right. stop invading women's spaces. And by women's <laughs> spaces, I mean the Falklands Islands. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, Fantastic, Mr. Fox said uh, they had a Highlander thing going on, but specifically for old white colonialist ladies. And now I'm just imagining like Margaret Thatcher be, or actually no, it'd be I guess the Queen because she lived longer, like beheading Margaret Thatcher and then saying there can only be one as much of fucking lightning comes out of her body. <laughs> it's <laughs> fucking tracks because Liz Truss killed the Queen. That's mm -hmm. one Liz killing another. It's fucking uh, it yeah. tracks. It is. Yep. It just, there can yep. only be one Liz. There can only yeah. be one Liz. Oh, you know what? There's not. There's not enough room in this list for the both of us. <laughs> <laughs> There's not enough room in this list for the both of us. <laughs> the fuck is calling me? Damn, Riff, likely fuck you. Yeah. Oh my I god. Kaylin, cut that out. I won't. <laughs> I'm not editing. Now that I've listened to this episode, I'm not <laughs> editing it. I'm. <laughs> I am. Like I am. I'm just print it as is. Just <laughs> upload. Like perfect. Leave it as is. Like, flawless. I, I am gonna put it's like episode mess. twenty-one. Margaret Thatcher question mark. <laughs> when is gold? It's gold. Like <laughs> oh no, this is polish too hard. This is our. This is if our best broke, episode. Don't fix but it. like. <laughs> yeah. We actually this there's four of us and this is the episode with the least yelling over each other. <laughs> yeah, actually, we've done pretty well. <laughs> is we it complains about that? Is it though? Yes. Did that work? I couldn't hear myself. <laughs> did I? Did I sound present? Yes. Um. Also, uh, oh, we're getting I'm a sorry. shirt that Before says we "Girl even Bosses fucking... Come Together." Uh, just so you know. Girl bosses come together. <laughs> Before we even fucking finish the stream, Sidekick sent us on Twitter um, a fucking nightmare animation of oh, Margaret no. Thatcher as Pennywise and uh, blocked and no. reported. <laughs> <laughs> Again, to chat, we don't respect you. Um, nothing but disdain for you and everything that you nothing. do. Yeah, if you want our respect, go fucking die. Or die. <laughs> <laughs> you want my respect? How about you go fucking oh, die? I just found <laughs> it. Oh no. <laughs> oh, I thought Mandy was like, oh, because of the name of our podcast. I get it. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> no, I was looking at the fucking Margaret Thatcher <laughs> thing, which will, this is not oh, my yeah. sleep. Jesus, get that off my fucking <laughs> screen, Mandy. No. Oh, God. No. It's it's horrible. <laughs> no, okay. Bo terrifying. Both of you, I'm not. No, she keeps coming back. <laughs> no, a, an image of a weeping angel becomes a weeping angel. I've seen Doctor Who. I know how this works. 
the ginger hair makes it look like my old primary school friend Harry Trenent. So you know, good to see you again, Harry. Shout out to Harry. <laughs> Shout out to Harry. <laughs> Oh I God. hope you're doing well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, absolutely fucking hate it. Blocked and reported. <laughs> <laughs> uh, John- Sorry. <laughs> Ever Kira wrote, Hoots acting like she didn't just save that for the spank bank. Um, <laughs> I, masturbate- <laughs> I masturbate to monsters, not war criminals. Thank you very much. Yeah, there's <laughs> there's a little bit of a difference I may jerk there. off to literal monsters, I but I have standards. I draw a line. I will flick my bean to a literal <laughs> child murderer, but not a war criminal. <laughs> Look, you can kill a child, oh but don't God. steal its milk. <laughs> exactly. That's just cruel. Milk exactly. is for babies, and babies are for killing. It's the natural yeah. fucking order. Yeah. You wouldn't believe it with oh these God. titties, but I support mommy milkies. <laughs> oh, that was the worst thing that's been said. I don't, I think, how I did you end it there? How did you? How did you upstage know. me saying cummies like five hundred <laughs> times in one episode? I'll, I've just, got four reasons. I've got four <laughs> reasons. One, two. <laughs> um, I would like to point out that several times throughout this episode, I don't know if anyone else has noticed. But Hoots would pour from an empty bottle and then look at it like. <laughs> no, I was pouring from the bottom. I was pouring from like, because I'm, I i don't use the whole split at a time. So I'll, I'll like use most of it, but then I'll have like a little okay. bit and I'll like. That's the story. Yeah, it still looked like nothing was. <laughs> yeah. I'm going back to the footage, like combing yeah. through. <laughs> Kaylin going back in like, yeah. where is it? <laughs> I'm sending this footage to Sebastian and see what he makes of it. <laughs> Doesn't has like a headset sitting in front of a computer. Time to type. Just go, 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 breaking the keyboard. Someone in the chat call me a nerd. Why am I a nerd? Tell me. What did I do? I'm not saying you're wrong, but I want I want an explanation. If you're gonna call me the end slur. Oh no, that one's taken. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'm like, wait. I <laughs> wait. The costume codex wrote, must get every drop. Yeah, I don't know like how else to explain oh. to you guys that like I have developed like alcoholism as a result of producing content for you all. So yeah. you should join this our is... Patreon because <laughs> I'm gonna have to enter a very expensive rehab facility soon. So Yeah, you're not gonna go to a shitty one. You need one that's so like true. mostly just yoga. I live in Los Angeles. I live oh, in Los yeah. Angeles. So, so that's where some good I'm ones have are. An so overnight. Go to, go in to Canada, Patreon. they're all like <laughs> publicly funded, which is like Yeah. I went to one mm-hmm. once just for a night, just to stay, just to stay cash. Um, when I was like 18, technically it was a detox, um, but not like, a full rehab. Just I, had, a, I just, just, a, just, a, just a night. Um, well, they wanted to keep me for a week, and... but then they were like, oh, you're not like, you don't need to detox. You're just like 17 or 18. And you came home super drunk one night and your mom was like, um, this seems like the government's problem <laughs> and they're going to need to deal with you. <laughs> but, I love, I love that. Turning up and they're like, you're not. You're not an alcoholic. You're just hungover. Yeah. The well, next day, they were like, "You don't." You're need literally to be just here. an eighteen-year-old. And you're yeah. embarrassing. <laughs> some guy came up to me and was like, "What's your choice?" And I was like, "Um, I didn't have one. My mom made me come here." And he meant like drug of choice, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess like. I guess like barefoot. I don't know. Like... <laughs> I guess, I guess like uh, dark horse. <laughs> I say first, but bottoming is too much effort. So like, <laughs> my drug of choice. Not me telling my uh, my rehab story on stream. Like six drinks in, it worked great. We right. so, we're being so yes, open and vulnerable. Men. I mean, first of all, Yasmin and Flonays, and then after <laughs> that, you know, <laughs> caffeine. Flonies. <laughs> Not me going to rehab for Flonies. Uh, leftist cooks just entered the chat and asked us what the fuck we're talking about. We're, we're talking about Margaret Thatcher. Like, Is that not talking obvious? Yeah. We're talking about the Margaret time Thatcher. I met Margaret Thatcher read, in rehab. Read the name of the stream. God. Uh, I'm going to leave the pog juice here while I go to the bathroom. Um, It doesn't say pog anymore. It's like duck. It says <laughs> duck. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'll be back in one second too. Okay, and and I think we'll probably want to yeah. wrap this up, right? Because it's been like three hours. What a great podcast episode, though. This was a lot of fun. <laughs> and also, yeah, hi, Neil and Sarah. <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> it actually was very nice. Ooh, what else do we have? Oh, yeah, what's that? <laughs> Just swapping out my whiskeys. Not Showing Fireball. Whiskey. Not Fireball, no. I've done it with the bad stuff. Yeah, now that now that Neil and or Sarah are here, we should probably end the stream. Yeah, yeah. sorry. <laughs> sorry, Neil and Sarah. Someone in chat you. just said that's scotch. I don't know if that's fighting words enough to know if they're fighting words, but were those fighting words? Yeah, it's just like the most the most American thing you can say. Oh my god, are you drinking scotch? Is that scotch? Like, yeah. Um, sure. I love I that. Love <laughs> I love that accent. I am obsessed. I am standing. I love that it was like a teenage girl. Thing. <laughs> yes, no, that's why I love it. Like, oh my god, scotch. Okay, scotch? so um, originally for this stream, <laughs> I can hear Hoots screaming. Do it again. I think you should say do it again. Do it again. She wasn't joking, John. It was Mom, <laughs> No. Oh, my face hurts so fucking much. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Stop being funny. Jesus. I'm so drunk. Um, I... I love that we spent, like, all of 25 minutes talking about <laughs> Margaret fucking Thatcher. And then the rest of the time, we were just, like vibing with our very funny friend john yeah it was fun this has been a great great time yeah. <laughs> Such a, <laughs> what, mean, a, just, what a great way to spend a monday right? yeah i mean i wouldn't spend hours staring at a piece of shit so i wouldn't want to spend hours talking about margaret thatcher okay hours yeah, staring no, at a piece of shit sucks, is right? our <laughs> content <laughs> so like let's not let's not take like a big steamy on that but, like, <laughs> shit on shit <laughs> Ew, there's shit on me, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I thought this was nice, but there's just shit covered on it. Mm. <sighs> it's a nice shit. It's like gold plated. Oh my god. Okay, if this was if this is what streaming is, this is so easy. I didn't even need to like research anything we didn't need to do anything like we should just be streamers no. fuck video we essays we just vibe we yeah. just sit here and get yeah. shit faced and vibe i stand these twitch celebrities don't even do a fucking real job <laughs> okay that's not what i said All don't down. cancel me oh although actually um, somebody tag kira chats in this tag the song biker can't all the big ones is aren't we doing the um f the algorithm stream oh yeah this, this weekend this coming weekend. So if you all are, are enjoying we? this, I think so. I'm pretty sure it's a Saturday. <laughs> it's just like, it? uh. probably Neil and Sarah, are we meeting? Tell yeah, us it's Saturday. Chat. It's Saturday. Uh, yeah, it's I Saturday. So if Zoe. you all enjoy enjoy, you know, hearing us all having a good time, we're gonna do that on Saturday. And I'm not good at shouting it. I don't remember what time it's at. I'm too drunk. Um it's Saturday. <laughs> just show up. <laughs> like, just show, show up on Saturday. Says, like, the leftist cook sign up is like your parents turning up to, to you at a party. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh crap, mom and dad are here. <laughs> oh, no, no, we got to leave. Shut this shit down. The cops are here. <laughs> the they leftist cops. <laughs> the leftist cops. Oh no. Oh, no. no. Okay, no, don't listen. I'm, oh, no. I'm covering my microphone so they can't hear me. <laughs> <laughs> Feel Sarah earmuffs. I'm covering my own ears. <laughs> Sebastian does uh, this. La, 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Oh, okay. Well, this was fantastic. Thank yes. you all for for joining us in the chat. This was great. Uh, hopefully, thank we'll do another John. live one. Yes, yes. Thank you, John, for being thank here. You, John. This was a lot thank of fun. Yeah. yeah, and everyone. Um, I don't know. Don't suck, and we won't make fun of you on your podcast. I guess. I don't know. How do we usually end our podcast? Yeah. Wait, don't everyone don't has... suck and watch your fucking back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can you imagine if we start doing episodes on like sidekick 42 and people are like, <laughs> Beethoven junkie we're coming for you 
Not even like respect the dead. It's just respect the comment section. We're just pick a podcast. Respect the stan. Would be. Yeah. I'm here. I just want Beethoven's shot ninth. How about Beethoven's? I'm putting you in the ninth circle of hell. You <laughs> piece of shit. I love that now people can see Hoots's like mannerisms once it's like a few glasses in because there's a lot of like this. <laughs> <laughs> I just spilled my drink. Fuck you. Fuck I have my instant karma. <laughs> it's <laughs> like that. Was, there was not even like a second between. <laughs> me trying to bully hoots and the god is just <laughs> spilling a drink all over my pants <laughs> and my carpet but okay someone someone in chat said respect the chat and i want them to remember that no no no, no. no. absolutely <laughs> the fuck not don't <laughs> all right okay i'm gonna what hit end stream on you sickos okay bye everybody bye, bye. bye. we love you